Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I told you it would not be much of a wait. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. That is up for debate, but we are back, and that is what is most important. And we have Counter-Strike action lined up for you tonight. We have the St. Clair College Academy Squad versus North Carolina State, and the action is getting underway. We're starting off with the knife round, and the action is already kind of boiling over here. Uh, North Carolina State is going to take that one, and they're going to be able to get to pick which side they're going to start with. And it looks like... Like they're going to be choosing to start on T side and on vertigo that can make or break your momentum. I think the Saints have this defense on vertigo hmm. pretty well understood, but in terms of execution, they do struggle. Sometimes. All right, I have a question mm -hmm. How much do you think they train for the knife round? <sighs> That's a good question. That's actually, I'm like, I wanted to just laugh it off, but now that I think about it, that like, there, like there's some important round, right? Kinda. Like, it depends. It depends. But it's better, it, you know, you don't train, you can't train for a coin flip, but you can train for, you know, winning a knife, a knife round, round yeah. and you can decide, you know, that can decide where you start off. But they're gonna get the Molly out on site and they're gonna be able to get up on there. Just Biggie here to hold them off and he's able to find headshots. Andy coming up with support with the dual bread is finding some more behind the cover, looking for the plant, not gonna find it, gonna go down first and the rest of the Saints pour in and get their marks. Saints only dropping two members, I believe, and wow. that's gonna be a huge advantage for them going into this next round. A lot of money to play with and they're gonna try to establish this dominance. Two M4s already and North Carolina State, they're not gonna have a lot of money to work with. They might even just go for some Eagles if Anything. It looks like they're being managed to just be Dan, I think they're just going eco round, full eco round. Yeah, not buying a damn thing. And they like it's it. Another that pistol way. round, guys, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just gonna get started now. They're gonna try pushing up to A through the ramp, potentially. Also have one over on B side. They're gonna have to play things carefully. Saints are for locking down the most important entry points, sending some rotations around already. Uh, Andy's gonna rotate over to B mid. But looks like now North Carolina, they're still playing it slow. They haven't committed anything yet. They're sending their bomb carrier up exposed. They did see him. It is a pistol Ooh. round after all. They don't want to be playing too safely because they do want to at least try to get some pickoffs. But you don't want to just throw your life away because even if you're not planning on winning the round, dying does give them money. So you don't want to die. Ooh, first kill going off. Molly it out, make sure that they're not going to be able to push up. Maybe finding a headshot or a kill through the smoke. Tristan's going to be able to take down the Saint in the meantime. Holding down ramp. Coming up pit, Tristan is creeping onto site. The bomb is down, not planted, but they have dropped it somewhere just so they don't have to risk losing it. I think the Saints might see it now, recognize that they found the bomb. They're just going to hold this site down, and now they're just going to kind of wait down the timer. North Carolina State is really trying to find any pickoffs that they can get. They've already found the one. Now they just want to see if they can pick up any more. Going to be rolling around, trying to find their way to CT, but the Saints are just maneuvering so well. And around that corner, AP is going to get 1-2 now in his debut, playing for the Saints here. Just already showing that he's a strong player, not to be messed with. Yeah, that was clean. The FAMAS, uh, it's not usually like a, a gun that's like super strong with the M4, but like it, it gets the job done. It's definitely better than a pistol. I mean... You can just see that. How, the difference between not semi-auto mm. is huge in like almost any game, but mainly Counter-Strike because there's like there's a cap on the tap fire limit, right? You can't like just tap it uh, happen and then you go full auto. So having that from Moss really gets them the advantage. No hold on a minute here. Somebody getting picked up with an AK here. We're just gonna go down. This is gonna alert the Saints that this is gonna be the end quick going push. Mollies are gonna come out, flash as well, just to slow them down as much as possible. In fact, another Molly to catch off that flank angle. Smoke now, making sure that if they're gonna push, they're gonna have to put everything on the line for it. A flash coming around though, I'm not sure if the Saints are gonna be ready for it. Coming out, a Molly's gonna push them back, but Mac is gonna find AP, put him down in mid, and he's gonna take down a headshot through the smoke, but Mac finds Miggy over on A, but swinging through Petro with the MP9, takes him down. And King is going to find Petro in retaliation. Now, not a lot of bodies left to keep moving around and getting things done. Just one Saint left, I believe. Finding two. And he's going to go down for it. 
Yeah, yeah, unfortunate for the Saints there. North Carolina State is going to be able to find their round and bring themselves a little bit more back into this game. Yeah, and you know, something that I love about Counter-Strike is, unlike Valorant, right? Because I, I cast a lot of Valorant for the high school teams, but unlike Valorant, when the utility comes out, each utility eats itself, right? Like, um, the smoke counters the, 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 the molly, right? The molly counters the, um... HE in a certain way, right? It gets you out of the area that you could throw the HE in, and the HE counters the smoke, which is nice, and then you kind of have, well, the non-explosive, the flashbang, which is just a skill issue if you get flashed, basically. basically. Ooh! Well, that not a, That is definitely not a skill issue there. Tyler's finding a beautiful flick to get the kill as he comes up ramp. That's going to be a great opening for them. A lot more space to work with here and information, but all the smokes down there are going to kind of dampen them and their efforts to keep pushing forward. Mr. Myers here. He's got the util, but might not have the guts just yet. Ooh, but Mac is going to find Petro. And it's going to be another opening up for them. Just two Saints left against North Carolina State's four. Nades and utils are coming out now. They're going to make the push over to B site, I believe. All these smokes so well coordinated. Molly's as well clearing up the site. JBH with the deagle in hand, though. Flash is going to come out and make him a sitting duck as they swing around the corner. Just AP. We've already seen what he can do with the Team Liquid branded stickers on his gun. You know he loves that team but he's going to opt to save this round. Every dollar matters. It's a 1v4, and even he is not able to pull things off like that. He's going to see if maybe if he can find some pickoffs to get some co-damage done, but he's not going to be pushing for the site, no. Yeah, no, these pushes are uh, not advised when the bomb is ready, mainly not when you're at the disadvantage. So you're kind of just going to have to let that thing blow up and save for the economy, right? Uh, but big problem. So... Well, problem, not problem. Like, a big factor when it comes to uh, CS is the economy, right? One of the biggest points that you need to work on. Of course. But the economy is kind of like, um, how to put this? It's something that's super important, but it's something that's really hard to master, right? Because you're going to mm -hmm. see it, and even it's, it's like the choice of to op or not to op, right? If you buy an op, you have a very high chance of getting a one-tap because that's what the op does, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you drop the op, then You're they it have it. Right. So it's kind of the same story when you look at your economy system, right? On the economy system, if you go for a full buy, all right, cool, you have a full buy. But if they just have pistols and then they kill you, well, first of all, that's a skill issue. Second of all, now your economy is in the gutter and they don't even have to buy anything. Right. right. It's a delicate balancing act that you're making a lot of calls based off of risk versus reward. And you're putting a lot of faith in not only your ability, but your teams as well to pull off these rounds that are critical. And you're again, you're you're basically gambling that you think you're going to be able to win this round. Otherwise, no one would ever buy anything. Right. If you know for sure yep. you're going to lose a round, you just don't buy. But when you buy, you're making a statement that you're going to put this much. Uh, you're going to commit this much to believing that you're going to take this. The flash smokes are all going to come out. It's going to be a full, clean, open site for North Carolina State as Saints went all in on A. Not going to work out in the favor here. I kind of like their strategy for this. I think what they're kind of getting at is they'd rather give up a site and retake as five than kind of stretch themselves thin and slowly kind of take risks and gambles to get in. They're more confident them their team as a whole squad rather than individual actors and again they are on a budget round here so that's another factor they don't want to feed too much money over the side of north carolina state especially this early on where those dollars do count they do add up so it's not like this is round 12 and or uh, this they're on match point you know dollars don't matter at that point we're just on round four here around five so you don't want to give away too much money if you don't need to that's exactly what they're going to do they're going to save every penny give none over to north carolina state outside of the bomb plant and explosion so now the saints are back in this game they have some money to work with and they're going to be able to work to see if they can try to defend it this time at least yeah since you they literally just said all right we're going to walk up to like the 10 foot line 
And we're not going to touch it with a 10-foot pole. We're yeah. just going to sit here. If somebody walks within our crosshairs, hey, free money. We'll take it. Because, Basically. I mean, a 5v1, even if they have pistols at the end of the day, if you've got five pistols shooting at the same time, unless they miss, uh, you're going to lose that fight, right? Um, mainly when they're deagles. I mean, deagles just make your head explode and you're gone. So, <laughs> yeah, like just staying in a group and saying, all right, if we pick one off, we pick one off. If we don't pick anybody off, eh, at least we save. And like that's a really good play. It's that, and that's a big sense of macro, right, mm -hmm. on the side of the Saints here. Just saying, okay, you know what? We don't have the money to play this, so let's not play it. Like yeah. it, it sounds like something that you'd say is dumb, right? Because why would we not play the game? But in this case, not playing the game is actually to your advantage. Depending on what gun you're getting the kill with, like just getting kills gets you money. And if the yep. Saints are playing around the fact that they don't have any money, why would they just give their opponents even more? So they're just opting not to take any risks that round. But here, they're all for it. They all have their guns. They're all comfortable. But it's not going to be going their way. AP and Miggy are going to go down, but Andy's going to get the revenge kill on the Mac, the one who took them both down. Flashes are going to come out now. They want to start getting a little bit aggressive, but they're ultimately going to retreat back into the safety of the pit. It's going to be Tawish going to be crawling his way up. JBH holding down B site, but coming up a ramp now, just around the corner behind the crane. He's seeing if he can find anybody there. But now everybody is going to start to play a little bit slower. Reality setting in. Saints losing another. Now I believe it's just one Saint or maybe two, two Saints left. And they're just scrambling, seeing if they can find any pickoffs that will keep them in this game. Tawish going for the smoke now. Rotating around. Can he find a Saint? No! Petra's going to put him down first. Very well played. The bomb has been planted over on B-side, and the ball now is in Saints' court. It's a 2v3. They're aware of that, and I think they're feeling confident. They want to try to go for it. They don't want to give up another round unnecessarily. But with one member of North Carolina State oh, just around the corner. corner. Team is going to go down, but you aren't. JBH is going to be able to get the kill against W King. They know where he is now exactly, but he is actually going to opt to just run away, save the dollars, save the gun, and play for another day. The Saints are playing so carefully around their eco. Uh, I really do like how they're trying to preserve every dollar and make every round count. They don't want to make any unnecessary risks. They're playing very calculated. This doesn't feel like a. Uh, it doesn't feel like a fear thing. It feels like a, like I said, I, I talk a lot about the confidence and hesitation in these teams' plays. This doesn't feel like a hesitant thing. This feels like this is the decision we're, we're making. This is why we're going to do it. Um, and I like that they're doing that this game. Yeah, for sure. And a little bit of a question here uh, coming from my side. So uh, the Saint, the last Saints player actually picked up an AK over the mm. M4. Does like, the AK have something better than the M4? It does guaranteed one shot headshot uh, if you find that even through a helmet. Uh, oh. It also is just comfort. A lot of players are a little bit more comfortable with the AK, the spray pattern, than the uh, M4. Ultimately, it's just going to go down to what you think you can get the kills with. But Tristan's going to get shot through the lattice, and the yeah, Saints are going to start rotating the over. <laughs> the toes <laughs> are not safe. AP is going to be holding down that site over there, but they're all going to ultimately be relying on each other to have each other's backs. JBH is going to be holding over on B site, watching the stairs. Gunshots going. Petro is going to find the kill, though. Miggy as well. They're all crawling around, inching their way over onto A site through ramp. Preparing some smoke, so they want to make sure that they're safely throwing the molly behind the boxes over there. The cement. Site is completely mollied off. The Saints hear everything going, and they try to get back onto site. See if they can get an entry frag. No, they see him before they see him, or before he sees them, rather. Smokes down over and mid. They're not going to be able to get over to here very easily. 3v4, but oh, God. AP showing what he can he do with the deagle. Out. Knocked out. Ooh, flash coming around. He knows he just has to move. Doesn't want to do anything too risky. Almost stabbing Miggy accidentally. That would have been a, a complete <laughs> tragedy. Smoke's going to go down. They are going to have an opportunity to go for a deep use. Miggy is not going to find it. No, and just like that in the flash of a flashbang, all the Saints are going to go down. And that's a very good round for North Carolina State University. Again, I love how these teams are playing so cautiously. Again, no, I don't feel any hesitance coming out from all of these plays. It's all so deliberate. And this is the best counter-counter strike I love to see. And I'm very excited to see what more they have to bring for us going into this next round 
That's one up. I'm seeing it now. I believe that's going to be Andy, if my memory serves correct. This is the dedicated opera on the side of the Saints, and we've seen what he can do with it. Very scary stuff. Nightmare fuel. And JBH is going to be the one holding over on B site, watching stairs mid. We have a Saint also watching any flank points that they can try to do to get some rotations. We have three over on A, two over on B, but ultimately everything is still going to be going. So Petro's going to find one, but again, Petro's going to get lined out. They're trading every single kill so far in this game. They're also well executed. But now, I was gonna say it's gonna be mauling off those important points, making sure that nobody's gonna be creeping and crawling where they don't want them to be. AP, perfect crosshair placement. Oh, the HE the is gonna find a huge oh. damage. Oh, I think he just saw it over the top of his head there. If he didn't see it before, he definitely sees it now. He's firing shots through the smoke. Andy with the op, making sure nobody gets braved over through mid. With one minute left, North Carolina State's first two pushes have not succeeded so far, but they have to make some commitment soon. They have a lot of money to work with, so they have nothing to fear. But fear itself looks like they're going to be lining up to get ready to push over onto B. Just one more member needs to get there before they feel confident making the rotation. But as they're kind of getting mounted up to make this push, already AP with the instant getting ready to slow them down. JBH even getting ready to get the kill. Molly's down. Bullets are being fired. Almost gonna find one, doing a good amount of damage, but AP putting down one. Tristan's gonna take down JBH, but from behind, Miggy is gonna come up and get the kill. Such a good hold by the Saints. Not losing their cool, not losing a little bit of composure. It's so disciplined. I love it. Yep, 100% the discipline here playing a big factor in the Saints win on that round. Uh, but looking at the score line, North Carolina State is winning right now. Mm -hmm. Now, my question is, is this map C or CT sided? Uh, I'm the worst person to ask that question. I, I, There's maps I feel like are completely one-sided, but people tell me it's the opposite. In terms of what makes a map CT sided or T sided, I couldn't say confidently, but I will say North Carolina State is definitely making it look like this map is T side. But with all the different angles and all the different approaches, rotation points, smoke spots, I feel like this I feel like this map allows both teams to play very comfortably as long as you have a solid strategy going into it. Um, with that being said though, we're seeing those sound strategies coming into play here as it looks like North Carolina State, they are able to find their way up through the stairs. And again, another trade coming out. Mace is going to be going down, followed by the one who killed him. 4v4, rotations are still being made. North Carolina State still committing for B-side. They left the bomb behind. They don't want to lose their golden goose egg. If the Saints take this round, they'll be in a very good and comfortable position. And that op is going to make it all bit easier. Oh my god, AP, what are you doing? Such a great nade. He's just fighting all these things. I, um, AP, one of my friends there, I was just talking to him before the match, and his coach JBH said he's a genius of the game and I'm slowly starting to see it even though I top score over him whenever we play uh, you know I guess he's just saving the strats for these competitive matches but smokes are gonna be going down Petro gonna find W King Tristan is gonna be sitting firmly on the site waiting for his teammates to get with him smokes are gonna go down to make this even safer and as soon as he gets there his team's gonna be there with his back watching and making sure that no one's getting there and he's gonna go for some no scopes here cheeky ones Nate's gonna come out gonna chunk him down but it's not going to deter him throwing his AK down. Oh, I believe he was giving it to AP. I'm not sure, but Tawish is going to find Petro. And on the corner, AP finds him with the spray control. He sees where that next member of North Carolina State is. He knows exactly where he is, but does he know that there's two there? I don't think so, but he must have a feeling as he goes around throwing the smoke. They hear it, and they come around the corner, yeah. taking him down. Not a lot you can do in a situation like that. They had it so locked down, but the effort was was immaculate. Now, North Carolina State is still going to be able to hold down the economic control here. One of them having 11,000. Tristan NC surviving so many rounds. It's a top, it's a, it's a top heavy economy, but it's healthy enough that even if a couple of them are poor, he can very easily buy them whatever they need and keep them in this game. But the Saints are now a little bit desperate here, money-wise. They're going to be spending their dollars on the guns that they 
think are going to be able to allow them to stay in this game, but these holds are going to get a little bit harder with that deficit in mind. But Andy, so brave, going to be going down and getting the pick off to start the round, and he's going to get out unscathed. Nobody with <laughs> with a an ounce of self-preservation to do something like that, but Andy doesn't care because he knows he can get out of way with it. So he's gonna get free kill essentially now holding down that ramp, making sure that nobody comes up through it. So now North Carolina State shook after that loss of their teammates it's life. 4v5 now. Yeah, 4v5, but not anymore. Okay, Miggy's gonna go down again. Every single time a kill goes out, it's gonna get traded back. Now going up to A yet again, they're gonna be trying to commit for it. Giving him the Molotov. Thank you so much, Valve, for allowing us to give grenades now. Petro, again, another trade. Going to take down W King, but he's going to go down for it. Everybody, it's a buddy system. Whatever you go, you got to make sure your buddy's there to kill whoever kills you. 3v2 now. Going to see if they can try to get around here. They're kind of stuck. I don't think they want to fully commit to rotating over to B because they have kind of... Oh, established by AP coming from behind. Not even I saw that, and I have a mini map where exactly everybody's gonna be. Gonna get another free kill, essentially. 3v2, but are they gonna be able to get out of this? It's a sticky situation with 30 seconds left and an opper. He saw the smoke, but he's not gonna be able to get that pick off. The smoke is gonna be there to deter him. They're not gonna be able to get the clean op shots off. But with two Saints there giving him back up, it should be a little bit easier. And AP with the FAMAS, JBH with the Deagle, and Andy with the USP Silence. Gonna get that final kill of the round and allow the defuse to go the side of AP. That's gonna be another round for the Saints. We're looking at four to six, and this game is slowly getting closer. All right, so small questions. Um, how effective are like the silencers like how far away do you not hear the silencers or, like, uh, it's not about not hearing point? all i believe the silencers do mechanically i could be mistaken i think they make it so that you don't show up on the mini map uh when you fire because otherwise if you do fire and you're in a line of sight you will show up on the mini map but if you show in someone's view, you go on the minimap anyways, so I'm not entirely sure. But functionally, it does just play into making the accuracy of the gun different. That's the, that's the main thing. If a gun with the silencer on it versus when you take it off, its spray pattern will be different. Um, it reduces some of the damage as well, but it allows you to fire a little bit more Suppressed accurately. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the most accurate gun uh, in all of competitive FPS history. So in terms of mechanics, what the silencer does just makes you shoot better, depending on if you're comfortable with it or not. That's why some players Wait, go so for can the you M4 suppress A4. the AK too? No, no, no. It's those guns have the suppressors on it. Uh, oh, you can't okay. put the suppressor on a gun that doesn't have it. But if the gun has a suppressor, you can't take it off. Mid oh. Yeah. Um, Tao, she is gonna find Miggy. AP and Miggy. The spirit of Miggy gonna help him take him down, but AP is gonna go down as a result. Again, we're looking at a slightly favored for North Carolina State round with 4v3 and the rotations. This mini map, I must admit, just looking to see where they're gonna be going is it's kind of confusing because there's two layers to it. Any map in the game, looking like at Dust2, onion. you know exactly where he is, but <laughs> on this one, he could be anywhere right now, <laughs> if you ask me, but I believe they are gonna be coming up through the stairs. Just making the map at the end, I'm correct, yep. Gonna nades out, in fact, giving his teammate one, just to keep throwing them down, keep throwing more and more and more. The smoke is gonna go down to block off CT's line of sight. JBH, though, he's gonna be exactly where he wants to be, but no, 99. In fact, no, not 99. He's gonna be doing like three damage to Mace. Andy with the op might not be what you want to have in this situation, might not be what you want to have, uh, but he's gonna hold on to it tight like it's a teddy bear. I think they might want to be saving here. I don't remember how much money all they all had, but you definitely don't want to be giving the op up, not with your Andy, especially with what you can do with the Mace and the rest of North Carolina State, they're gonna be holding on the site and states are gonna be saving their guns. Yep. I mean, when when you're at this point, you just wanna play economy. There's no point trying to go for the defuse. Just, you know, make sure you don't blow up. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I played like one game of Counter-Strike because um, I wanted to learn a little bit more about the game. Beautiful. I got blown up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I when I first played Counter-Strike and I realized that you can get blown up by the bomb, that blew my mind away. I was like, that's 
so cool. And every time I planted the bomb, it was like, I gotta get out of here! You know, the jumping away from the explosion. Yeah. It's stuff like, it's just fun. And it, it adds another layer of excitement and even strategy to the game. Saints are gonna be able to hold on to those guns from the previous round. And in fact, looking at their economy, they had no choice, honestly. This is the final round of the half, and they barely had a dollar to spend going into it. So even after they're saving the guns, uh, it's, it was critical that they saved them. Otherwise, they'd be going to the with nothing. But here, they're all well armed and prepared to do as much damage as they can. Ooh, and that's a cheeky up angle. It is uh, more than cheeky. I'd say it's well, it's it's so cheeky. You're going on the inside of the cheek now. Like you're 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 scraping gums it's at this point. Cheeky, <laughs> you're, you're you're scratching gums, uh, the inside of somebody's mouth there. That's how cheeky that play is. He's gonna, you know, opt to stop doing that one and move back to a little bit more of a sensible position. Oh no, it's because there's a there's a there's a there's a fall caution sign right there. He oh, didn't want to fall. No, that's fair. That's fair. You know, you gotta, gotta gotta make sure that you follow the construction site policies. Uh, I I know you know there's a gunfight, but you know make the gunfight safe. Don't fall down. And you might not be able to see it on their models, but they are wearing hard hats in the form yep, of yep, uh, yep. their helmets and all that. So they're comply with Osha Pot and the uncharacteristically gonna miss a critical off shot, a second one now, and the nades coming out, but can he find one before he goes down? No, missing all three, but Petro, the rest of the states are gonna be here to pick up his slack. Mr. Myers is gonna take down Petro, but Mickey and the rest are here. It's a 3v2 now in the midst of the chaos, but AP with the MP9 is gonna take him down. Bomb's gonna go down, but Mr. Myers is gonna find him, but AP is gonna survive with the MP9 staring down the barrel of an AK. You never wanna be in that situation, but he's able to overcome it and get the kill and win the round for his team. Another MVP round for Accusing Penguin, Can Penguin, Logan, whatever you want to call him. He is our MVP in our hearts and we're going to be moving on to the next half. Saints are going to be on the T side. North Carolina State with the, the opportunity and obligation to defend now. I feel like the Saints are going to be moving forward with a little bit more gusto now that they have the wind uh, from that previous round blowing through their sails and I think they're going to have a good time playing this one. Now's the time that we find out if it's T or CT sided. Now the time See how we're quickly out. people are moving up. Now we're gonna find the time. It's gonna be the time to find out whether or not they're gonna win this pistol round. The yes. Saints are gonna be making a beeline for A, rushing off the ramp, exposed to the elements now. Ooh, a Kimbo. Yeah, he's using the dual Loretta's over where nobody is. Not where you want to be when you're holding a gun like that. He's gonna be rotating over. They recognize that they're gonna be going to A side. They're gonna be able to find Tawish. A lot of spray going through those smokes, but the Saints are already planting AP. Oh, but the nade gonna blow a huge chunk of skin off his back, and he's gonna be forced to retreat back now. It's gonna be North Carolina State pushing their way onto the site. Andy's gonna find a headshot to the smoke. Tristan taking down Andy, and AP pushing down Nace, getting another kill to his name. But find the flick. Not gonna be able to find the instant one tap headshot, but maybe a couple more shots to take him down. Another MVP round for AP with the most eliminations. Saints are gonna take another pistol round, and again, most likely gonna take this next one if they're gonna be playing the economic the economics right. You might be looking at a 7-7 tying this first game up. I mean a 7-7 it would be beautiful, although that would mean we might be here until midnight. Okay. Um as as we know these uh <laughs> <laughs> Tactical shooters do tend to take a lot of time, but we started at 7, so like, it's fine, right? We started at around 7, uh, 7, 7.30, 30 okay. after all those delays. We'll, we'll be here by like, 10.30 at max. Uh, that's if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be here as long as it takes to enjoy this Counter-Strike. For sure. Mollies are gonna deter any pushers to counter take this, and it looks like North Carolina State's gonna be playing this in the way that the Saints kind of took their previous eco round, just kind of grouping together, because even if you try to get pickoffs individually, 1v1s with a pistol versus a rifle usually goes away with a rifle, but 5v5s, at least maybe you're gonna keep gonna be able to focus down one guy as your whole squad, but the Saints are going to look to make that as difficult as possible, both yep. holding the opposite <laughs> angles. Uh, Watch out, there's a this there. one. He's going to go back onto the safety of the stairs, and in fact, this is actually a little bit of a sticky situation. They might uh -oh. be able to get out of here very safely, so they're going to have to stack up on each other to get there, but JBH is going to find one member of the same University, but he's going to have one HP after the bomb's going to go off. Let's see if they can find any pickups. No, they're going to be donating a lot to the walls with the Saints, and they're going to take it graciously. Now, heading into this next one, North Carolina State is going to have a bit of money to work with here, but they are still not going to be too comfortable. Yeah, no, when you don't have a lot of money, it's a lot harder to play, but 
they are still getting some purchases in that are going to help them throughout the game and uh well we're gonna see how useful those purchases are i mean wait uh, hold on north carolina is on currently the one with the they're on the oh but pet show yeah. pushing up through the smoke you're gonna get down an entry frag out to mr myers still gonna be on the ramp which patiently waiting bomb it's gonna be not too far behind over underneath mid and he's gonna find a headshot through the smoke as well these beautiful pickoffs being so well done Gonna go be going back for the bomb now as the other Saints are gonna be trying to secure the point. Just spraying down anybody who shows a little too much bravery. But I'm just gonna say rotating around behind, seeing if they can get any Saint who's wandering too far away from the one true path. The Molly gonna go off behind the cement blocks. And I think the Saints are actually gonna be rotating over to B. They've kind of made their presence known on A, and these kinds of mind tricks work very well in your favor if they're going to start sending rotations over, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And as they're rotating over to A, the Saints are going to be rotating over to B, and they're going to oh. be able to get a plant for free. Hey, oh. Just flashing for good measure as well. Every single Saint finding their way up. Plants are going to go down. Smokes are going to come out. North Carolina State. They're left with the bag in their hands. It's completely empty though, and they're gonna have to figure out exactly how they're gonna try to make this round work in their favor because they're just, they're not prepared to be able to take over B site right now. Well, I mean, in this situation, it is kind of hard to do anything because now you need to push the point, but it's a 3v5? Yeah, five. So that's not exactly the best of situations for you. Mm. So your best chance is to just save up, right? They are saving up. Yeah, okay, they're saving up. They're just holding their area. Gotta make sure that the Saints don't go. Saints gonna take up their own cor little corner of the place and uh, gonna make sure they don't blow up from there. Yep, absolutely. Ooh. The yep, Saints are gonna be too concerned with doing economic damage to North Carolina State, not only because they already have done so much, but they're more concerned about just making sure that they're in a good spot economically, which they are. None of them are gonna have to buy anything after this round except for refilling util. Nobody went down that round for the side of the Saints, but North Carolina University is gonna be hungering for some dollar as uh, the ones who saved are gonna be able to donate some guns, donate some money, but the rest of them are going to be playing with some leftover guns, I'd say. And if they lose this round, then they're completely destitute. Saints, if they lose this one, they can still play the next round. So the pressure not only is on their wallets for this round for North Carolina State, but even just mentally, they are going to be making sure that they have to play this one perfectly or they're going to risk to going down, what, that'll be 7-9. to nine. The Saints would only have to win four more to take this first game. Yeah, that would, uh, that, that does make it a little bit harder, but let's keep it my North Carolina also like they're really close in terms of points right so yeah it might be three for Saints but it's four so it, you know it, it's anybody's game at this point oh hold on everybody's dying already yep. APG is gonna find one and again it's the trend that I've seen consistently through this game as soon as someone gets killed someone's gonna get a revenge one back they're all playing together buddy system making sure that somebody's got your back at all points in time Holding down these critical angles as well, ensuring that the Saints aren't going to be able to make any any plays that are too comfortable. You always want to make sure your opponent hesitates at least a little bit, or else the game's going to get a little too easy. Miggy, seeing if you can go up scaffolding to try to get through the ramp a little bit more safely through that cover that it provides. You could try to wrapping around behind them potentially, but for now he's going to stay put and just not play anything too risky. Frag is going to come out. Flash as well. Going around the corner. Tawish sees one, but he's not going to be able to commit to get the kill. He wants to stay alive, but it's a little bit longer. But they're going to be spraying him down. Petro is going to find Tristan on the other side of the map there. And Tawish just spraying the rest of his clip through that smoke. Hopefully to find anything, but not going to find the damn thing. While W King is going to take down JBH in this brawl. Trying to fight for control of mid. St. Clair College. Three and North Carolina State also holding three, but the plant is going to go down. Andy holding that spray control down so well, but it's not going to be enough. He is going to go down ultimately. Coming out the corner, Mr. Myers is going to find the headshot onto Miggy. It's a 3v1 now. Petro, granted, a lot of them are pretty low, but last time he's going to take one blinded, but he is not going to be able to get the second one that really matters. North Carolina State clawing their way back and holding onto every penny. They're going to be being able to take that defuse and bring things to be eight and eight in this next round. Looking good. All right. Well, oh god, we got a console pulling up and a map. 
<laughs> All right, thank you. Now it's gone. We can look at the game in its full glory. Saints are going to be committing for the op this round. Okay, so that makes uh, four op rounds. Four rounds where there was a live op. I haven't been counting. <laughs> I have. I've been I've been counting my blessings, and being able to watch this game is one of them. Okay, we're tied up now, and even economically, things are pretty close. Whoever wins this round is going to have a huge advantage going to the next as their opponent's going to be struggling a little bit. JP's going to be the first one to go down in this round. No trade kills are going to come out of that one, but flashes and these are going to come down. Nikki launches Mr. Myers off the building with a clean headshot from the op. So much power out coming out of that gun, and he's going to be seeing if he can peek anybody rotating away from that ramp, but he's going to stand firm and strong through that smoke, but flicking just barely whizzing past his head. That op bullet is going to do so much mental damage, but not physical damage. That's the one that you really care about. Now... Seeing if they can secure mid a little bit. JBH is going to get spotted out behind that box. His arm is going to get cleaned off. And then he's going to track that spray to find his head behind that cover. His arm was kind of peeking out a little bit there, most likely. That's what allowed oh, him to Oh, because I was going to say, I, how did he even see him? <laughs> You gotta be paying very close attention. That's why those players usually have their monitors so close because these tiny details. I mean, they, they're basically the kissing their monitor. I would kiss my monitor too if it was as clean as those ones. Very nice, very nice alien. They are very good. Got. They are very good. <laughs> they're better than mine. Holy smokes! Absolutely. Oh, I don't remember which one I have, but Ooh. it's like it's so. I used to have this old one that like you could not see. Like it was so pixelized. It was terrible. <laughs> And I had to play on that for like a solid six months because I had my computer, but my monitors haven't like there was a shipping error. Oh man! So I had to play on that, and I was just <laughs> oh my brain hurts. Tausch is gonna have to play on Andy's grave, and Petro is gonna be soon to follow as the North Carolina State University fully clears this retake of any St. Clair Saints left. They're gonna get the defuse, and they're gonna be looking at nine and eight now. Complete. Well, not complete opposite, but they're going to be getting that momentum that I was thinking the Saints were going to be able to pick up if they won that very critical eco round. But now, Saints, with every penny that they can muster up, going to be spending into this next one because you don't want to be going down in these ones. North Carolina State's going to be holding on to an op here as well to make sure that they can completely lock down one of those more linear sites with less twists and turns, while the Saints are going to have to get creative to be able to find a way to circumvent it because they know that he has it for sure. Round five with the op. Or, well, fifth round of ops. Alrighty, let's see how this one plays out. Oh my god, lots of utility already coming out from the start. Yeah, Tristan is able to find AP in those first gunfire rounds. Coming up through the stairs, maybe. Again, they don't want to commit anything too much. They always take these rounds slow and wait for those utils to give them a path. A clear, open, and safe path to success. Petro gonna get the boost. He's gonna, no! Tristan's gonna be able to find the kill. It's like, uh, it's like playing whack-a-mole when one of your opponents <laughs> just pops up in front of you. Are you able to kind of refocus fast enough? I wouldn't even be able to see his head pop out. You on this point. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be as good as he was in that situation. Three as well. But, one speaking of oh, maybe a good third, enough, I think be Will St. Clair Cosby trying to get the takedown, Fisher College, White's Call of Duty team. But, Miggy is good enough to take down Mace and hopefully clear a way over to the site. The bomb is too far behind. It's a 1v3, but he still has hopes and dreams that will take him to the next round with a lot of money in his hands. Otherwise, he's going to be kind of screwed fighting that shot cross map. Basically, peeking through that door, going to be using his newfound courage to push up he oh, oh i thought he saw his head there but that was just a shadow but from oh. behind uh, unfortunate timing there for him he really would have got that kill because he was prepared for it he knew he was there but gonna get killed out from behind not much you can do saints are gonna be having to go for a eco round here they did get a lot enough kills for it to hurt north Carolina state a little bit so they're not completely destroyed on the eco side of things even if they lose this round pretty bad they will still be able to compete with north Carolina state on an equal footing going to this next round yeah but we're just seeing like tech nines and i think everybody else is just sticking with the glocks because there's just there's not much you can do at this point. But oh my god, that HG splashed on three people. Yeah, it's going to be making this round even easier for the side of North Carolina State University. But easy is not guaranteed. That fact that they didn't spot out that CT, they're giving a little bit of cross confidence. W King going to completely miss that first one. He's going to find his mark on that second one. 
now. Petro is going to be able to find Tawish. They're going to be pushing into Opera down, but Mace is going to be lighting them all up as they come around that corner, and they just kind of led them into their own destruction there. Nif, North Carolina State is going to take that next round with a beautiful rotation play, forcing the Saints to take an unnecessary risk. With 10 seconds left before we head into this next one. I'm starting to fear a little bit for the Saints. St. Clair College has all the AKs in the world to deal with, but North Carolina State, they're not going to be in a bad spot for a long time. Saints would have to get a lot of work done to really crack into that mental pressure and economic pressure on this first game. North Carolina State is two rounds away from winning this first one. St. Clair College is going to have to figure out how they can make sure they don't give these ones up. But the Molly's going to come out as AP finds the first kill into Tristan. Molly's going to slow them down just a little bit with the flashes and the other utils are going to come out. They need to get a smoke down on site so they can push up without losing too much because they have a lot of players on North Carolina State that are just holding that angle down ready to go. Aww. But AP right in the feet. kind of getting one weight a little bit just by map geometry. Going to go down before he's able, able to see his opponent fully, let alone aim his gun at him and shoot him. One to ten left. Saints are going to be committing over for A. Trying to come up the ramp now, but I believe they have an opera holding it down with W King and just not too far behind is going to be M4. They're going to commit the smokes and mollies to force them off their site. Rushing up to get the plant. It's going to go down, but North Carolina State, I believe they have an answer. Holding it through the back of A. Trying to come around the corner. Mr. Myers actually going to hop on that box as his teammates are spraying down through the smoke and just pop up and be a little bit of a surprise for the Saints, but going to be a little bit more reserved than that. He doesn't have to take any unnecessary risks, so he's not going to do that. Petro. Oh, Andy's going to go down. Petro, got a hope in the world, going to go down as well, but Mickey trying to find the revenge kill, but JBH almost does a lot to take down North Carolina State, but he's going to go down ultimately, and they're going to be able to get the deep views. We're on a game on point for North Carolina State against St. Clair College. Yeah, no, not looking ideal if you are St. Clair College here. They need to do something possibly to come back. All the money is going to have to be spent uh, to make sure that they can try and come back. But it's kind of hard to do here. They don't have the momentum, not the mentals kind of tanking. Because mm. uh, like this is a lot of rounds that North Carolina State here had in a row. Right, so your mental state drops, and yeah, you just lost an economy round. So now you're like, oh, and they're already oh, no. losing two as the entry is not going to go their way. Andy is going to be able to find W King eventually coming up ramp, but behind the scaffolding lies a dark secret, and that dark secret is Mr. Myers, but he's not going to be in the shadows for long as JBH lights him up and exposes him to the world. But, oh, Petro, a little bit too slow on the flip. They're going to go down to Mace. Smoke's coming out to make this a bit safer for him. Tawish rotating over to B. They know where the bomb is, and it's a 2v2 fight for it. Wingman, it's like oddball in Halo. You got to try to capture it, bring it back to your point, but it's a little bit different. The circumstances are different as North Carolina State has to do nothing but sit and wait while the Saints are going to have to find a way to get in there confidently and assert that they want to still keep playing this game. But with 50 seconds left and you know you're in a really bad situation, you know there's not a chance in the world that they aren't watching this bomb and they're around the corner just waiting for you. You have to make a play and make it eventually getting ready to flash potentially. They're going to be emerging. JBH and AD are going to be going to get mowed down by Mace. Seems it's not even going to have to lift a finger to end that first game. 13 to 8 for North Carolina State. St. Clair College not going to be triumphant in this first map. Yeah, no, not ideal for St. Clair College in this first round, but it is what it is. There's always a second one, right? Um, although if you lose that one too, then it's, well, it, it's over. Uh, but <laughs> There's always a second one, so we take it back in the second one. Uh, but when it comes to these things, right, this is something that I've been wondering. Wouldn't it be kind of neat if when you kill someone in Counter-Strike, they drop their utility? They do. They do drop their utility? Yep. 
Uh, they drop one grenade, I believe. Um, oh. But speaking of dropping, looks like Fisher College wants to drop a huge W on St. Clair College as they're looking to be 210 to St. Clair College's 122. They just need to get to 250 to win this first game, and it's looking pretty convincing for them. Two minutes, and they're just dying to completely stomp St. Clair College. The rotations are coming out now. GMG is not going to meet that gunfight. So they're going to be trying to pave a way to that hard point in the middle, but it's just going to be made damn near impossible by these gunfights at Fisher College. They're winning so convincingly. Nobody's even going to get on the hard point yet. They don't even feel the need to get onto it. GMG is going to find one pickoff, but Matt going to take him down. Daddy SO is going to find factions through a wall bang especially ooh, forcing one saint on the floor taking cover but rare is ultimately going to go down there daddy esco on that tank running away they're throwing the nades out but they're not going to be enough the saints are pushing up they really want to get this guy down and they find it but that whole time matt is just on the hard point farming it away Saints are going to be able to rotate now back over to this hard point but it's already going to be flipped over to the next one 237 fisher college just needs 10 more seconds on that hard point and it looks like they're going to be able to get this without much resistance as the saints are still not even there now they're going to be able to find that contest but with these kills, the amount of frags that they're able to find so easily, it seems, it's not going to be enough to get the Saints back in this game. And they're going to win Game 1 over St. Clair College's Call of Duty Academy team. Well then, uh, St. Clair College not looking good right now. Both in CS and in Call of Duty. So, round two win? In both cases, maybe? Hopefully? Yeah, but the Saints are kind of really feeling that they're not necessarily at the top of the world in every aspect. They do have some hard competition, which is a tough pill to swallow. But hopefully through these next couple of games, they're going to be able to adjust and adapt and come back stronger as they still have a couple more chances to keep the fight alive. On Counter-Strike, the Saints only have one opportunity left. If they lose this next one, that match is going the way of North, yep. North Carolina state university but call of duty a best of five game the saints are gonna have at least two more chances to come back yeah so comeback angle on both games but both ending pretty closely i mean call of duty did uh, start a lot later but God was not that close no, 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 I mean like in a uh, time frame. I gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Not close as in <laughs> who got curb stomped. Um, I mean, time-wise. Mm. But kind of surprising to see that CS went that, I won't say well, but mm. it, it was a hard game for both sides. Both sides were having a hard time. But after that second half, once they sw switched sides, you can kind of see that St. Clair was dying off a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And it was harder for them to actually get some momentum, right? They were slipping, they were slipping, and they just couldn't get any traction and start building on that. And once that happens, your mental goes down, and you just... just okay finish the round please let's <laughs> move on to the next one we get it but what do you think would be a good idea for St. Clair College here to like get uh, um, to get a win so looking at that counter-strike game I feel like as soon as they were on T's side they weren't able to play as slow and calculated as uh, North Carolina State was I feel like that they were getting those first bloods a lot faster North Carolina State was getting on St. Clair um, pretty quickly after each round whereas when they were playing on T's side engagements weren't starting until we we're at like 40 seconds left so i felt like the saints were kind of rushing things a little bit and speaking of rushing things we're on search and destroy now game two fisher college white versus st Clair college and search and destroy you don't want to be rushing things too much because you only got one life to live with in fact speaking of counter-strike we're going to be playing a little bit of counter-strike and call of duty here 3v3 now gmg so you can find any rotations but they're going to be able to slide away waves shooting down with Zarin. oh but he's going to try to get that sticky grenade it's going to hit that wall however he's going to be forced to rotate away waves is going to be helping his teammate just making sure they can get that plant pretty comfortably and Zarin taking a lot of heat there but but Fisher's going to lose one more waves is ultimately going to go down <laughs> as the Saints clear a path onto <laughs> the doing? site and they're going to be able to get the defuse. Man's just spinning. That's what you do when you're happy, you know? Who turned him into a Beyblade? 
I wish I had the ability to turn people into blade blades. I'd have no enemies at that point. No one would dare. Fair enough. You and just like got kill, got the kill, and then revert to Beyblade, and started spinning on his opponent. <laughs> Hopefully, he can spin his way to victory here after they're coming after a pretty harsh loss on that first game. With seven seconds, Saints are showing that they still have some signs of life in them, and they're going to be looking to get this attack done a little bit better than Fisher College was able to. In fact, Fisher College's push there was pretty good. In fact, they were able to get the plant, which you don't often see in Search and Destroy. So if the Saints can even match that a little bit, they'll be in a pretty good spot. They just have to make sure that they can hold it down afterwards as well. But Matt finding two Saints rotating through, holding in that corner. I don't think it's going to happen this round at least, as it's going to be pretty definitively in the favor of Fisher College but in fact Saints are going to be able to find at least one it's a 3v2 just because you have your other teammates alive doesn't mean they're going to be there what? to help you but Daddy Esco going to be hopping around <laughs> faction going to get that kill but rare she's the last one alive and not for long going to go down Fisher College is going to take this next game yep uh, so now we have a Beyblade and a bunny are there any other uh, the special moves that we need to know about? <laughs> Maybe we're going to see a Kamehameha. That'd be a pretty cool special move to see kind of popping out in this uh, <laughs> Pulls in this out the RPG. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's allowed in competitive. It's either not allowed or they just don't think it's good enough. I think it's really strong, if you ask me. But speaking of really strong, we're heading over to the next Counter-Strike map. I forgot the name of this one because you better believe All I remember is that there are chickens on in this one. We're on Anubis. Thank you, Tommy. We're going to be playing on this map. It's a beautiful map. In fact, just visually speaking, it's a delight to look at, but even competitively, the, the different angles and uh, perspectives that it brings for you is unique. And that river in the middle, whew, chills up my spine thinking about the things you can make happen on that map. I'm excited to see how both teams are going to be able to play that one. Smokes are going to be coming out now in the Call of Duty game here. Zarin's going to get that first uh, kill, but it's going to be an exchange the bomb carrier for Fisher College is going to be sitting pretty on that site, getting that plant down, I believe. And the Saints are going to have to find an answer for this one. But, oh no, the Saints are going to have to come around and get this defuse. Fisher College already has that planted, and it's a 2v2. They are going to have to make this work here. The Saints did it once. Hopefully they can do it again. But Daddy Esco and Matt are looking sharp-eyed and scary. Looking away at the wrong second there. Going to find the head, but no! Each member of the Saints are going to find their mark and clear a path over to the site to get the defuse and take this next round for their team. Very good execution there. Getting the def Most of the time in these matches, you don't even see the bomb really getting used. Mostly it's just DTM. Or DTM. TDM. Um, and like people just kill each other and then the bomb is like an afterthought. But here we're actually seeing the bomb being used a lot, which yeah. is nice. That might be an indication that these teams are pretty close in skill level. They're able to uh, really push the objectives and make sure that they can secure it. And speaking of, it looks like Factions wants to be able to push through this flank here, but they're going to be doing their damnedest to deter him, trying to rotate over onto the market side. It's not going to be completely clear though they're gonna go down Zarin's gonna find his killer though in an act of revenge waves is gonna be in a bit of a gun exchange there rotating around that flank Ooh. to put him down for good Zarin's gonna fall eventually and GMG last man standing for the Saints gonna go down as well and it seems that they're just trading round for round over on Call of Duty yeah this time the trade was actually a or the bleh, the game was actually a TDM game not the bomb being used uh which i mean is a lot more what you would expect uh but here as the sides switch people are going to start attacking that we're usually defending and vice versa so do you think that's going to be a big change in how the round is going to play out or not 
I mean, they've been alternating back and forth. I just know that uh, Fisher College has been able to consistently get the plants off, whereas the Saints are usually losing these rounds to TDM. Um, Fisher College is most likely going to be able to find their way onto the site as they've been able to do so before. But I feel like if the Saints are able to identify that the angle of attack and the approach that Fisher College is taking to get these ones, then they might be able to stop it before it's too late. But Fisher College are going to be able to find factions. It's still a 2v3, however, in the Saints favor and the rotation is going to be coming out over to A. The Saints are going to be committing a little too much over to B. They might not be able to stop this plant if they don't get over there in time. They recognize that the site's clear but it's not clear from a 30 meter radius because Saints are going to see them and start spraying them down but they're not going to be able to find the kill just yet. A site is going to be the prize that Fisher College is going to try to claim but the Saints are lurking around everywhere and you have to make sure that if you're going to go for that plant you're going to do so safely. The trophy system is on it to make it a little bit more palatable of a plant but with Zaren rotating from behind he's going to find the bomb carrier and Waves trying to get that gunfight in with him but no we're going to go down Zaren's tracking which is a little too clean there yeah unfortunate but hey at least around goes to St. Clair here so that's good for them uh, what are your thoughts on like how this game is playing out right now because I know we have um Counter-Strike in the background. Actually, we do speaking of Counter-Strike. Counter <laughs> looks like the Saints most likely won that pistol round and then win the follow-up round again. But I think we might be on that a little bit of a pseudo go round, pseudo buy round where Miggy is already lining up heads and finding these clean kills as they're trying to push over. But that that doorway is where dreams go to die, if you ask me. Yep. Uh, so many beautiful headshots have been found there. None of them have been found by me, and none of them have been found by North Carolina State yet. As St. Clair College is completely mopping the floor with them so far in this game. Yeah, so macro-wise, I think we saw like a pseudo-pistol round, right? Now we're seeing a full buy. No ops, though. It's just M4s and AKs. Uh, so, boy, yeah. Uh, what was our total of ops? last time. I think our total was around like 9 or 10. I'm not entirely sure, but especially on this map, I don't know what angles you want to look on besides this doorway. Whether or not we're going to see them coming out soon, I think you do favor the versatility that a rifle offers you and all these choke points and uh, angles, or these, these, these hidey holes. There's not a lot of choke points where you can just sit down and stare down one doorway like you can on a lot of maps. Uh, but especially since it seems might not be so completely familiar like but Petro making Tawish familiar with his gun and he sends some bullets his way. I'm gonna be able to greet him with a dignity. AP gonna be on a left behind to fend for himself while North Carolina State Again, they're playing so slowly and so cautiously. The miracle that nobody there took a point of damage. AP is going to be able to waltz away from that with information in mind. 50 seconds left for North Carolina State to find a point and go for it. Ultimately, I think the Saints are going to be able to hold this one down, though. Yep. Saints are looking really, really good right now. I mean, they have three rounds and... Ooh, wait, hold on. Did I jinx it? Please don't wait to jinx it. Not just yet, as Petro is going to be able to find that one, but he's going to go down ultimately to trading still. It's a 2v1. That was a 2v2, actually. And if only Piggy saw him earlier, S uh, North Carolina State is going to be able to take that round, as the Saints are going to botch the retake just a little I bit there. Jason. And now we're going to be looking at 3-1. to one. North Carolina State finally kicks back a little bit and shows the Saints what they're made of. Yep. But, with all that being said, Sigler is still in the lead. So they're looking better than what they did last time. Last time they kind of, it was one up, 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 right? Now it's a 3-1 and it was 3-0. So maybe Sigler, you know, has the comeback angle and that was just an oopsie daisies. Or it's just me being delusional. That, that is entirely possible. I still hope Titanfall 3 is going to come out. That so. frag is going to pull it up inside. It's not going to just spot anything, but they're going to full send it. They're going to be pouring through this doorway. But Andy's going to be able to find three, four now with oh the USP. Can he get the fifth with oh. the ace? And
Envy taking it down. He's the guardian of those golden arches. You're not going to cross pass with him. And he's going to kick you out right back where you came from. Saint's going to take that round. And a lot of money going to go in his pocket for it. Because damn, he earned this it. This man is rich. <laughs> And speaking of rich, St. Clair Hall is going to be rich in the dopamine receptacle. In fact, now tying it up, it seems these teams have just been trading it back and forth consistently. I'm not sure if uh, an attacker has been able to win a round yet. Uh, maybe? I th in fact, I think that was an attacker round being won right there. Um, man, I'm still stuck on that ace from Andy. Such a beautiful, beautiful play. Um, it, that's the kind of catch-22 you get when you're making those pushes. You know, it, sometimes it really works out in your favor to just send all your guys down a hole and hope that you come out on the other end unscathed, but sometimes there's just a guy there with a gun waiting for you, and he's able to just mow you all down. So, just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to watch any of these streams on your own and don't have to worry about things being switched around, you can type X exclamation mark streams in the chat and you can see links to those streams and be able to view them for your viewing pleasure but for our viewing pleasure we're going to be watching this call of duty game as zarin is going to find a couple of key pickoffs and one more to kind of round it all off taking it now to a 1v1 from a 1v3 rather 1v4 it was with that multi-kill waves is the last one alive and the bomb is sitting comfortable right in front of zarin he's got the angle to make sure that this is not going to be going to it's not going to be stolen away from the Saints holding it down from the high ground and watching constantly rotating moving around to see if they can find any perfect spot to keep on lock for that bomb 30 seconds left uh, waves kind of recognizing the fact that they're not going to be able to get to this bomb by conventional means rotating doing some parkour in this devastated terrain Zarin now on the ground lowering himself he might be able to hear Waves slipping and sliding around, but no, turning around the worst possible moment, but he's still alive. Going to be able to rotate what? and jump through that window with eight seconds left. He has to decide to either to chase down Zarin or go for the plant, looking to actually chase down Zarin here, see if he can get that kill to take this round, but not going to find him. The Ooh. Saints are going to take this round in a most risk-adverse way possible. Zarin is going to be whisked away from the jaws of death and escape barely with his life, and then take that round. Saints are looking four to five. One more round to take this game. Can they find their way back in this series? They are on the attacking side of things, and they are going to give that bomb to Zarin a little bit of a reward, a treat for winning them that previous round. And they're going to immediately start pushing through, trying to secure down A, see if they can spot out any stragglers. A pickoff here would be so huge for them. That's one less member of Fisher College to worry about, and they've demonstrated that they're also deadly waves going to see one peeking around that corner info for the saints you're using that to their advantage and they're going to start already preparing their operation to secure a as they're both going to be rotating around here crouched down so that matt can't see them but they're going to be pincer attacking from both sides getting ready for that util potentially bomb carrier going to be coming around that corner but right fine but matt is going to turn around and expose his back to a saint 3v2 now just two members left on the side of saint Clair college but he's going to have to play this slow. They're not entirely sure where these Saints are yet. So they have the element of surprise on their side. But Rare now exposed. He's going to have to go down. Factions are going to be able to pick up the bomb and start to plant. Can he get this down? It would be so huge for them. They find it. Now, 40 seconds for Fisher calls to get the defuse. But sliding around the tank. It's ring around the <laughs> ring Rosie. Around the but Rosie. not going to be able to find that one. But it's a 3v0 now. As Fisher College is going to be able to comfortably take out the last Saint. And get the defuse. We're looking at 5-5. Five to five. Last one. One, winner takes all and they're going to be sending us into the next game after this one whose game is going to be we're going to have to find out here as we're going into it here that was a, such a clean all final right. kill this fisher call is the way they rotate and find the backs of the saints and all these clean rotations is just showing why they're so dominant in the series so far yeah i i'm kind of confused though in the animation to defuse the bomb they just press the numbers like why would you give your opponent the defusal numbers? 
think they're like, maybe they're using like a diffusal program. You know, you go to diffuse dot com and you download the you download the <laughs> app and then you put in your IP address and they send you the diffusal pin. Not too sure, but one thing I am sure of is this round is most likely going to be explosive. That the Saints recognize that this is their last opportunity to win this game. Zaren's going to find the first blood already starting strong. A pick off already over onto B site. They're going to be pouring all their effort onto it. They want to get there before the rest of Fisher College just arrives, but they're already holding down those flanks and they're going to pay dearly for it, losing two of their members, two of their strongest ones, in fact. And now, Fisher College holding down the site. One of them's going to go down. It's 3v1 now. GMG is going to be the only one left, but we saw Zarin doing it before. Can GMG do it now where it really matters? Can they take the legacy that Zarin left in that beautiful 1v4 comeback to win them this game? It's a 3v1. The bomb is down and every angle possible is being watched, but GMG, you have to defy the odds. Do the impossible Possible, but no, it's not going to be done. Fisher College is going to take that last round and ultimately take this next game 2-0 over St. Clair College. One more game left as we're going to head to control. Saints are going to have to muster everything up and bring it back in order to stay in this series. Yeah, no, the series is not looking good for the Saints. They're going to have to find some angle somewhere somehow to be able to come back. Uh, or else they're going to lose this one, which would not be ideal for them. Uh, but on the side of Counter-Strike, as somebody is walking through smoke... It's to be just him. It's a 1v2 situation. Coming around the corner, the ticks are so nerve-wracking, and the top shot is going to come around as soon as he goes around that corner. 5-3, to three, North Carolina State was able to bring one back, and... Now, Saints is looking a little penniless here. They're going to have to go for an eco round as North Carolina State is going to be looking pretty with a lot of dollars in their pocket. Well, on the plus side, when you're penniless, the round doesn't really matter all that much because it's an eco round. With that being said, you don't want to throw your life away. And, I mean, getting a few kills is always nice, too. But uh, they don't need to worry too much about getting the objective done. They just need to worry about their money right now. And we're kind of going to see that happening here as the Saints are still, uh, are actually behind right now. So that's not the best of scenarios for them. I mean, five to three is, uh... The Saints are, uh, up five. Oh. Yeah, they are. Did I read that wrong? Side. I think it's switched as you mentioned it, my oh, friend. Not okay. to worry, not to fear. As NDS is here, going to be coming up through that smoke. Going to be seeing if they can find their way over, but the Saints are getting mowed down one by one. All these beautiful op shots by W King taking down every member of the Saints so far. It's Jess and the left of that table seeing if we can find anything to get done with this one as they're going to be trying to get a single pick off here. A single one will go a long way for the momentum and the morale of the Saints, but it's looking to be unlikely as none of them are budging. And in fact, as soon as they do, that budge is going to cause the death of Andy. We're looking five to four now, and the Saints are getting a little uncomfortable. Yeah, that is not ideal. None of the members of North Carolina State fell there. So they get to save all their money plus whatever they made while the Saints just get the money from the loss bonus, which, I mean, yeah, okay, it's money, but it's not that much money. So, uh, they do get their M4s, but they might be liking utility or armor here. So, we're gonna wanna see how this one plays out as players start off their push. A lot of utility coming out, actually. I think they're trying to maybe take up mid here. Up uh, the Saints are going to be responding in kind, just getting a feel for where they feel like North Carolina is going to be able to push up. Uh, I think they might try to go for a little bit of a slower one here. Going to have no trouble to stand his ground and use that smoke to get him out of that fire because he was not getting out otherwise, taking a lot of damage regardless of that. Looks to be North Carolina State kind of stacking up a little bit mid, seeing if they can get a cheeky rotation over through those doors and get behind the Saints, but they're holding it down so confidently. Miggy finding Tristan as he peeks around that corner. Another peek was about to come out, but Miggy is going to go down. Not a lot of HP left after that exchange. Going to be a pretty easy one to find. Flashes and smokes coming out over to back of B. Uh, and over in the palace, we have Andy rotating. W King's going to take down AP. Andy, Molly's going to go through. That was the opportunity. They didn't think he was going to go for it. If he found that kill there, it would have been so worth it. But he's just going to take a lot of damage. 
just for the chance of getting a pickoff, but it's not going to go their way. Saints holding, and you really remember that all they have to do is defend. They're doing a damn good job of it so far. With 30 seconds left, North Carolina State hasn't found a good footing onto the point until just now. They're going to be able to get this plant most likely. You hear the beeps. That's go time now for the Saints. And go time it is as Petro flicks to get that kill onto Tawish. It's just 2v2 now, but Andy's going to go down. It's a 1v2. Petro waiting for that fire to dissipate before he can get the courage to walk into the lion's den. Looking to see if he can find anybody out in the open, but he knows that both of these ones are going to be in cover. Seeing if they're going to use anything cheeky. A flash coming out. Thankfully, he didn't see it, but he's going to get spotted out. Nace is going to take him down with a clean headshot and take it down 5-5. Five to five. Well, 5-5 five to five is definitely good. I mean, that one round went pretty well, but when it comes to the potentially last round of this bout on Call of Duty, St. Clair are actually looking pretty... Uh, not so decent. Actually, Fisher College also took that one. Uh, oh boy. Uh, you guys got this. Woo! Saints are really <laughs> struggling to find their footing in this first game. They weren't able to pull it together. It was such a close one in that second, and this third, it's not looking to be a good one either with Fisher College locking them down in that first one, being able to take control of both points. I can't say I've been able to see that so far uh, in, in these Call of Duty matches I've been casting recently, but that one is going to be pretty convincing it's going to be made looking easy by fisher college but the saints now on the attack and they want to show that they can do it too but waves and matt are just going to be mowing them down in the blink of an eye saints are going to lose four lives multi-kill was able or waves was able to get a multi-kill of three and in fact another one where he really shouldn't have that's going to be a five killing spree as matt holding down that stairwell zarin has to play carefully they know where he is now thanks to those gunshots factions are going to go down as a rotation around the map but the saints have not even found a foot onto these points yet it's Fisher College is doing such a good job of sharking around, and if they smell blood in the water, they're going to go on the attack. Almost shooting a teammate there, maybe. The kill Ooh. instinct is a little too strong. Zero not even going to have time to throw a nade out. 20 lives to Fisher College's 25. 30 seconds left. Not even able to find a foot on the point, let alone find the pip. It's complete and utter domination for Fisher College. The Saints are floundering around in a pool with the Shark. Factions are going to be able to spot out one. and going to at least get that kill, but more of them are coming out of the corner to put him down. 15 seconds left. Zarin <laughs> shooting his fire. back a little bit there. <laughs> and he's going to come around that box. Put him down. 10 seconds left. They are going to be able to find a foot onto the point. Finally, Matt with the nades. Going to blow himself up. <laughs> Ultimately, back blowing up a teammate, rather. Factions is going to be able to get some gunshots down to the back of oh snapping rotating around this box this transformer seems to be the play they find a pip on a but with 8.3 seconds left they have no choice but to keep this locked down or lose this game and then lose the serious gmg behind that barrel fisher college is going to be deleting the progress that the saints have made and they haven't been able to find a put a foot on the point of b or a yet but coming around that corner was so close trying to slide into third base but not there in time Another point going the way of Fisher College, and this is looking a lot less close than that search and destroy one was Saints with one more round in their eyes gleaming. It's a dream that they are it's so close within their grasp. If they can only just reach it and make it a reality, then they'd be able to come back in this series. But Fisher College does not want to make that happen. With three seconds left, we might be seeing the last round of this Call of Duty series. Yeah, I mean, Fisher College here, I mean, they're like a lawnmower at this point, and St. Clair College is just the perfect form of grass to them, because they're just, they're tearing through them. No matter who it is, they're just cutting through them, they're getting to the point, they're getting the points from the point of points. Uh, words are easy, but they're just they're cutting through St. Clair so with like such ease that mm. St. Clair just can't get those points and that's kind of where spawn control comes in right once they start doing that whole spawn control it's hard to get out of spawn because you're just going to get sprayed down they know where you're coming from because they know where the spawns are and from that standpoint you just 
beam down whoever is in your sights. And you, granted, you know where they are, but they usually have the peeker's advantage, right? So yeah. from that standpoint, you will always lose that Speaking fight. Speaking of advantage, Fisher College holding both points at one point. They're already a pip on A. They're so close to just stealing this away from the Saints, but the Saints are still fighting back, and they don't want to give this up. They're going to be playing around every corner, every angle to make this as hard as possible for Fisher College. Rare sliding on the point. She's going to be able to find one kill, but going to go down herself shortly after Waves. is going to be on that high ground, making sure that no Saints is going to be able to get behind them. A is as good as gone, but B is still a fight that they can fight for. GMG demonstrating just as such, but the Saints are actually all going to commit for A to try to stop this one. They want to delete that progress. Waves is going to go down off that high ground, and they're going to be able to delete that last pip of progress. Their Fisher College is going to have to completely reset that one and get that back to full if they're going to have that A site taken, but they already have people on B too, looking to secure that second pip to make this a scary, scary round for the Saints, but the Saints are already deleting that progress now. Their rotations are fighting for that high ground at this point. Faction is going to find one rotating through that back of that helipad. We're going to be able to find another one if you just wait a little bit more and there Ooh. you go. That's going to be another one for the Saints. But one more is not going to be in the cards. Waves is going to find that headshot sliding through, putting him down. Now it's just going to be a little bit longer, but the contest is going to come through. Wow, what a good play by Rare finding two in the perfect opportunity. They needed that so bad and she was there to deliver with 20 seconds left. Fisher College, they're looking so good right now, but at the same time, they're really struggling. They have progress on both points, but they're not able to lock anything down. The Saints are even whittling the lives down as well. 9 to 12. The Saints might have found their footing here with 5 seconds left. Fisher College on B now. That's going to freeze the time. Faction is going to come through to get the contest. Not going to be able to get that kill though. GMG potentially hoping to be the uh, last hope for the Saints here with 3 seconds left. GMG underneath the point. They find another pit, but that's not going to give them any more time to work with. Trying to get that mow down. GMG, can you find that kill point at the point? Rare is going to get brave and push up. She's going to get mowed down. Fisher College with every second left. St. Clair has no more respawns. It's search and destroy now for them with now factions out of the game, potentially out of the series now as Fisher College locking down A. But GMG just around the corner. He's going to contest it with no respawns left. Rare the last one standing. No, but they're going to get the capture before Rare is able to come around that corner and put a bullet in his head. Fisher College taking this 3-0 over the Saints, but I'd be damned if I said that was not close near the end there. The Saints really found their second win and were bringing it back, but that rotation from O-Snap and putting the dream to rest and that's going to be it. Allowing that, uh, that last second to be captured and head over to CS. St. Clair College Petro getting a 3k uh, to kind of start things off here. Saints are now on the offense a 4k actually for him through that round. Wait, since you're the lead. Ace. Yeah, Saints are six Ayo? for eight in six North Carolina. Uh, now on the CT side, they had a taste of what St. Clair College had to deal with here. It's not a huge lead, but they're going to take it. And uh, some shotguns coming out. A little bit of a cheaper round. Shotguns? Saints are definitely going to have the advantage economically in this one. But they're not going to be pushing it too much. They want to be playing a sensible heads-up game of Counter-Strike. And they want to take every round as it goes. Mollies are going to double it up on that palace entrance. They don't want to make this easy for them. And they don't want to take any unnecessary risks as they've already done too much here. Um, now, going to see if they can find a peek. To the, uh, that's the thing about this map. There's so much, a lot of labyrinthine, uh, labyrinth-like uh, little corners and doorways. You, you really want to at least find a pick up before you feel comfortable making a push onto a site. And that's exactly what the Saints are going to be looking for here. Uh, but they're going to be able to lose one themselves, actually, in their efforts. So things are looking a little bit even scarier for them. With one in minute and five seconds left for the Saints, Mace is getting a little antsy, a little bit bored. But Flash Ooh. coming up from Mace is going to retaliate against their own. Petro is going to be able to stop Mace from pushing through. But Tristan might be in a little bit of a world of hurt. Molly's going to come around. And with that MAC-10 doing so much damage, he is eventually going to be able to find Mickey. But Petro is going to find him through the smoke now. Mr. Myers rotating through just the last one or two left for North Carolina State. It's just Petro left for the Saints now. Going to be 
in that doorway. They didn't actually, they weren't able to finish the plant. The Saints now in a really scary situation as the bomb is in between both of them. It's a very scary game of chicken as Mr. Myers creeps up. They find Petro, put him down, taking the seven to eight now. Yep, very good execution here on the side of North Carolina State. You're getting those kills in and eventually, I mean, winning the game of cat and mouse over the bomb was very, very well done. On the side of the economy, though, we're seeing a potential eco round coming out, which is going to be interesting. So Claire seems to be a little bit uh, on the poor side. So yeah, they're gonna they're gonna opt for the eco round here. I'm just gonna leave this one probably to North Carolina State and save up for the next round. They are getting close to the end of the match. So they need to kind of be more careful with their money and how they spend it. You're right, yeah. Just in case. But we haven't seen an op yet. To be fair, we haven't been able to see a lot of this map so far. That Maybe is true. Got lost to time. Who knows? But Petro and uh, JBH with the Deagle in hand. They want to be able to get the swing over. But they're not going to be able to commit for it. I definitely think that the Saints, especially since you're on T side, eco rounds are a little bit nicer, a little bit easier to kind of execute because you really can't throw caution to the wind and just pour everybody through a site. And you're most likely at least going to find one pick off when you try going that way. The initiative is, is on you. So you can set the pace and the tone, um, make these fakes, make these pushes, get sacrifice the lives of some of your teammates because it ultimately doesn't matter. But those things allow you to get these openings so much more just like they found the opening on the A site. One is going to go down two, but they are going to find the pick off. Petro finding W King as well. These Deagles are finding their marks. And in fact, they're going to get the money for the plant as well. 3v3, but now the 3v2. Petro going to get another headshot to take this to be even. No one's going to be able to pick up a gun. They haven't had the time to, so they're still going to be working with these Deagles. But it might be exactly what they need. No, not going to be able to find those clean headshots Unlucky. there. But the Saints definitely accomplished more than they set out to, most likely, in that round. Not going to be able to win it, but they do find enough pickoffs to make it worth their time. Now, they have a lot of money to work with here. They're going to be on even footing, forcing North Carolina State to buy those guns back to stick with it in this game. If Saints end up winning this one, they'll be in a really good spot as North Carolina State is going to have no choice but to spend a lot of money here. Yep, but the, the scores are equal. St. Clair was in the lead, but now they're equal. So... I don't like calling for predictions, but what kind of angles are we looking at here? Are we looking at something where North Carolina's mental is coming, is like on a steady stream, and it was sick that was kind of just fluctuating, and now they're kind of equal? Or say because especially in a game like this, I feel like you're not even thinking; you're just going through the motions and taking every round one step at a time. You don't have a lot of time to even get in your own head as every round is one after the other. It is 3v5 now. The Saints losing two amidst that entry. Uh, Petro almost finding one there, but he's going to be able to slink back into the darkness before the Bulls can find him. But 8v8 now, like I mentioned, if the Saints are able to win this one, they'll be in a really good spot. Petro's going to find the wall bang to take down Tawish. Going to be seeing if they can find an inch over through mid. The Molly's going to go out, but the right side of it's going to be a little clear, I think. No, they'd have to jump over, and they don't want to. They don't want to make a single pip of noise. Because right now, for all North Carolina knows, they're making the rotation over to B. Or maybe they even went back over to, to, to T-Spawn. You don't know where these guys are right now. But these nades coming out are going to give you a little bit of a clue. The smoke is going to come out. The states are going to be able to rotate now, seeing if they can find a little bit of a gap in the defense of North Carolina State, but they find it with a swing above two. Andy and AP are going to be able to take him down. The nade is going to slow him up a bit, but it's not going to stop the push, taking a lot of hurt, but they're still going to be able to get that plant down. Mace is going to be coming out the corner here behind JBH, but ooh, two of them are going to get found. JBH is going to find the headshot. However, it's a 2v1. JBH is the last remaining member of the Saints as that retake was going so well for North Carolina State, but if you can just hold and not give up too much information. He wants to use util, but I, at the same time he doesn't because he doesn't want to give away where he is. I don't think they know. If he can just hear that that beef of the defuse he is, and that's going to be his opportunity to strike, but no. The swing at the same time, both of them coming around, it's going to be damn near impossible for him to find that kill, but the defuse is going to come through, and now we're looking 9-8. to eight. St. Clair College still not going to be able to find that round. It was a critical one, but 
North Carolina State's going to be able to kind of stick it through. Again, if they lost that one, it would have been a really bad situation for them. The Saints now, not necessarily in the worst state, but they could have been in a lot better uh, standing if they were able to take that one. Math 10 coming up, but the rest are going to be AKs, and the Saints are going to be looking to do some damage here because they don't want to let that eco slip away from their Carolina State as... Uh, if you're going to be getting to these later rounds and they're going to be having 5, 6k on each of them, it's going to not be too pretty. But speaking of, Mace with a dinky little gun of the MP9 is going to be able to find two of the Saints. And those are valuable members, valuable guns are going to be dropped. And now, the Saints are going to have to be able to pick up a piece of this round and bring it back. But Andy is going to do that first step of that process. He's going to be able to find one rotating through going to be fighting two at the same time and in fact he's going to be winning it confidently taking these guys one at a time but that flash is going to make it a little bit a little bit harder to do Miggy going to be able to find Tawish Mace being a uh, upgrade his gun find a better one amidst the scraps left over by these corpses they're not going to need it and just like that we're looking at Miggy versus the world a 1v3 but he still seems confident, a nade in his hand. He wants to use Diesel, but he doesn't want to reveal his position. But behind that pillar, swinging through that doorway, they recognize where he is, and they both swing, making it impossible for him to fire. 10 to 8 now. Saints don't have much money to work with. They're going to have to figure something out here. Yeah, we're kind of seeing the same thing that we saw last round, where North Carolina State was kind of one-upping... Uh, Saint, the Saints, and then the Saints were one-upping North Carolina, and they kind of went like that up until the later rounds, and then North Carolina just won like three rounds in a row. And I'm uh, like, I'm thinking maybe it's the economy, right? Maybe in North Carolina just has the better economy, or when they do take fights, they end up winning those through economy, and, and that's just the reason why they keep on getting that advantage in those later rounds, right? Like we're seeing right now. Um, as I believe, yeah, another pistol round on the side of the Saints. Like, it's not ideal for them. And It is I, ideal, though, that they're finding these pickoffs with it. Um, for sure. They're so comfortable with these deagles. They move as a squad. It's like a it's like a flock of eagles just uh, hunting their prey. And Tawish, not knowing what's waiting for him beyond this pillar, it's going to be a rude awakening as he finds one. But JBH, Mickey going to take him down, but another one behind that pillar there. The Saints are going to be able to find that plant, but waiting around that corner, W King with the trigger discipline, allowing them to expose themselves further. An odd versus Deagle fight, not very often you see these. He's going to shoot him through the uh, pillar there, not going to get that kill thanks to that the wall dampening it a little bit, but with that going the way of the Saints, we're looking 10 to 9, an op in the hand of Andy. Things oh, are no. looking up for the <laughs> Saints now. Uh, wow. Things are looking good for them at this very moment, but it could all slip away from them if they don't take the second to really establish how they want to go about approaching it. They're going to go for a timeout, whether or not it's a Tech one or uh, North Carolina went for it or Saints went for it. That's uh, that's all well and good. Doesn't matter who took it, but. The reality is the Saints are in a really good spot. And in fact, this could be the last time they're in a good spot. So they have to take this time to decide how they're going to want to approach it. Because uh, North Carolina State, they don't have a lot of money to work with. The Saints kind of don't either. Andy is going to be holding a lot of money here. He might be able to get some buys later on if necessary. But you want to hold on to all these dollars because North Carolina State has a lot of gas left in the tank. Whereas you still need to fight for every round with three seconds left the reality is gonna have to sit in for both of these teams at this next game to go anybody's way at this point. Yeah, no I don't think the Saints even purchase utility on this one. They just went full They do all have nades. They do all have nades. Yes, they all have nades. Uh well yeah uh North Carolina State they're gonna be the ones not buying too much here and you're gonna be comfortably watching his team W King Creeping around, nobody's gonna be on A, so he's not gonna find much there. But the Saints are looking to try to make a push over to B through those dangerous gates. Oh but around that God, corner, the Saints are playing cheekily, and it works out in their favor, finding one behind the pillar. It's a pistol round for North Carolina State University. They're not gonna be able to deal with the firepower that the Saints are bringing to the table. Cross map, JBH finds that beautiful headshot from the up. That's why people like it. You find those kills so clean, so easily. And it's just one member of North Carolina left. 
not even gonna really get too dangerous. In fact, no, he's gonna be able to find the kill. But the Molly's gonna come out, forcing him out of his hiding spot, and the fire is gonna be the one that claims his life. Three members of the Saints are gonna survive this one. That's gonna be some money going their way. North Carolina State's gonna be able to afford a decent round here, but the Saints really can't afford to lose this one because it would mean that all the effort and all the hard work, work that they put in to kind of chip away at North Carolina State would be all for naught. And they want to make sure that they can keep their head above water here as all those dollars are going to matter so, so much. As we're going into this next round, the Saints are going to be pushing over to a site. And North Carolina State is not the wisest to this fact. They have one sitting mid. They haven't spotted anybody over on B, so I think that's kind of clued them in. The Mollies are going to be coming out to slow the Saints down. Or rather, no, that was the Molly going the way of North Carolina State, allowing the Saints to push up a little bit more comfortably to get the opening into A site. They're going to have to try to get some smokes off to make this push a little bit more comfortable. But they really can't just go for it at this point. But the incendiary is going to come out and force them to play slower. Flash is going to come through. That's going to be the cue to throw out the Molly. And they're going to, in fact, segment the Saints off. It's going to find that lead flick over onto Miggy, hiding on that high ground. The flash is coming out. It's going to be segmented even more. Another flash is going to give the Saints an opportunity to get another pick off. JBH going through the spraying down the smoke clouds. Pressure is going to find Zombie King on the back of B site or back of A site. And sitting still in that smoke is going to be another member of the North Carolina State. But through the back of A, JBH is going to get killed down by Tristan NC. And Petro is going to be able to find him. But the smoke is his And he finds a no scope. And Mr. Myers is down. Saints are going to be one up over North Carolina State, and they're fighting so hard for it. It's going to be 11 to 10. The Saints are going to have the economic advantage. And in fact, as long as they play the cards right, this next round is going to be basically in the bag for them. Yup, it is looking like this is Saints sided. Uh, I mean, is there an angle in which North Carolina State loses this one 100%? Uh, honestly, I think Saints probably take this one. Um, yeah, most likely. Uh, North Carolina State has no guns to work with. They're surviving off of fumes here. They don't want to commit too much money because they're most likely going to lose this round. And if they don't commit enough, then they're not going to be able to do enough to put the Saints back at a detriment. It's just a lose-lose situation for them, and uh, they're not going to be liking it very much. So the Saints are definitely favored in this round, and since they're favored in this round, they're most likely going to be favored in the next one as well. So North Carolina State, uh, North Carolina State's going to have a lot of work to do here to secure down middle lane. They're going to have Andy, but Petro and AP are going to find two of North Carolina State. But coming on that corner, Tristan's going to find two now. Find one. Mace is going to find the rest of the other two with those clean headshots. And I might have spoken way too soon because North Carolina State, even with the pistol round, they are going to be able to find those beautiful kills on the side of St. Clair College. That at least is going to ensure that if Saints win this one, it's not going to be too easy for them to keep that momentum going because they're going to have a lot less money. But Mickey going in that beautiful little corner there at the perfect time because they both looked away <laughs> at the same time. So it was a battle of reaction. Who could flick back to who fast enough? Now, Ace, he has to play this carefully. Not a lot of util, just a Maldi. That's not going to be what's going to allow you to take these sites confidently. It's going to lead out to this. rule out where the Saints can be here. But with two of them coming at two different angles, Miggy's going to find that kill. And it's going to be taking us now into this last round. North Carolina State, they have all the money in the world to work with. Not all of it, but a good enough, a good enough amount to make sure that they have at least some chance. And the Saints are going to have all the money in the world to work with. It's fact, especially Andy, 7,000 after already. Jeez buying everything he needed. He does not need to buy the op because he carried it over from the previous round, but North Carolina State is putting everything into this next round because if they lose it, they lose the game. So there's no holding back here. They have to make sure that they play with their heads screwed on tight. But the Saints are going to be making locations through that canal. You can see each other. They have to be careful not to make any risky plays. As they come around that corner, Andy's is going to pay for it with his life as he tries to see if he can find anybody getting a little bit too brave, but he's going to go down. Now the Saints, with the bomb down, uh, they're just going to be keeping it behind them. Lose it in their next push, but they already have two kind of pushed up, and one holding mid, one back behind the T-spawn, or around closer to B-side. Patrick's going to be able to find Tawish, put him down, but 
It's not going to be anything that's going to allow them to find a way into the site, which is what they need right now. Two of them over on B, two of them over on A, and it's just they're trying to get an inch so they can take a mile, slowly inching their way up. They want to see if they can crack open an opening, but not yet. The Saints are still playing slow on their side of the map. North Carolina State kind of matching that tempo and just slowly waltzing back and forth to see if they can find any Saints through this adventure. Pushing up to A now. AP leading the charge. Seeing if he can find anybody coming around the corner. That he does! He's gonna find one now! Forcing him to go back. Mr. Myers is gonna be the back of the show lamb. But JBH finding Maze! That was not supposed to happen. That was all his. And Petro finding W King to give the Saints this first game in the series. We're now tied up one to one. Anubis going the way of St. Clair College. They're back in this series 13 to 10. They haven't given up yet and they're going to be looking to try to bring things forward for this next game. It all comes down to this. We're 1-1 one, one in this best of three and North Carolina State has shown us that the Saints are going to have some competition. Yeah, for sure. So we're seeing the competition. One goes to the Saints, one goes uh, to Carolina, right? So what we're seeing here is we don't know who's going to win. No. It's really just a, a battle of, okay, who practiced the most on this next map and who knows how to play this one better, right? And mm -hmm. within that, we saw that there was really good economy control on the side of both the Saints uh, and their opponents. So finding a I won't say a better, but finding a balance between going for economy and going for just really aggressive plays. Because now they know each other, right? They know, okay, we know they're going to go for this. Okay, we know they don't have a lot of money, so they're going to go for an eco round. And, like, we could even see a counter eco round come in. That is a possibility. Maybe. Like, we could see some shotguns mm -hmm. come out. We saw one come out, I think, this round. Um, so those counter rounds could come out just to say, okay, well, they're, they're on a pistol round 100%, so we might as well just counter their eco for whoever did die uh, last round, right? So it's not a bad idea to do these things. And we might see some of them come out now that they kind of know each other mm -hmm. uh, on a more, I'll, I'll say, intimate level than <laughs> what they did originally. So now seeing how this is going to play out is really interesting. What are your thoughts on this last round match? I, I, I just, I'm really excited to see it play through. These teams have demonstrated that they are of the highest caliber of collegiate Counter-Strike players, and they've been putting on one hell of a show for us tonight. But before we throw it to a break, as they're getting ready to get into this final lobby of the evening, I want to know, I don't remember what map they're going on, but is there any map that you want to see in particular? I personally really want to see maybe something like Inferno or Dust. I don't think I've seen Dust. I, in fact, I think... <laughs> I think it'd be perfect to finish things off on Mirage. Um, but while they're still setting up the lobbies, we'll figure out what map we're playing on very soon. And I hope to see you guys soon as we get into this last game of the evening. You don't want to miss the action and see you soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I told you it wouldn't be long and we're getting ready to start the action on this final map of the night. We are gonna be on overpass. Again, I love seeing the Saints over here. We're gonna be winning the night round as well. So they're gonna choose where they're staying, whether they're gonna be T or CT sided. They're gonna get to decide, but it's always exciting watching them play on this map. And it's very fitting for it to be the final one of the evening. Saints are gonna be starting on CT side and the action is going to be ultimate here as they've demonstrated so far both teams are very very capable very powerful and very deadly in their own right but it's all going to come down to this and the saints are looking to be on fire coming off of the momentum from the previous victory i can't wait to see how they're going to take this last one yeah, so strategies here, I mean, a good this around, so there isn't much. Um, but in terms of strategy that's going to be taken up, I mean, everybody's going to be grouping up instead of splitting up and trying to cover some angles, just because you want to have as many guns pointed on one person at a time. As we can see here, uh, JBH getting absolutely chunked. Still alive, though, so he's on 12 health. Jeez, that is nothing. 
Uh, but 12 health is enough to wield a gun, and that's all that's going to be needed, as I think we're seeing a little bit of attempted boosting here. Uh, not going to happen, though. Just going to start shooting through the wall. Not much going on here. The game really being played slow. We saw this map yesterday, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, yesterday. Last week. Yeah. They played on this map in every series. They played so far, and I think it's—I don't know if I, want, I don't know if it's one of their comfort maps, but it's one I see them on a lot. I'm not sure how they feel about playing on it, but right from seeing what I'm seeing right now, I feel like they might be Petro pulling up and getting a clean kill. But the side of North Carolina State is going to be able to find two in return. They're going to be trying to take over the site here. The Saints are going to have to go for the retake. AP, see if he can find any heads to click over here. So close to finding that one, but he's going to get put down before. We can let loose that final shot and Tawish alongside Mace gonna be holding this down. Andy gonna try be trying to find his way over to get onto the site, but Mace is gonna find Mickey's head, putting him down, and Andy's gonna be the last one standing. Gonna be able to find one, but surrounded by three members of North Carolina State, it's gonna be a very hard situation to push through. But Mr. Myers from behind gets the headshot and takes the round for North Carolina State. Well, that's pistol round. Don Anna dusted North Carolina State. State. Oh boy. It's late today. North Carolina State uh, will take that one. And that means that they're going to actually have money to play with. So, Sailor College here, going to just opt for some suppressed 5.7s. Um, and just stick with the eco i mean we've been seeing this every round every right after pistol round whoever lost pistol round always goes for another one i think it's a pretty sound strategy i mean you don't have the money to invest into guns at that point so you might as well just spend it on a 5.7 and see where it takes you yep that's that's the standard uh if you lose this round then you don't have any money to work with so you just kind of pick up anything maybe you get a deagle to help you pick up um, an extra pick off cross map because you can get one so, so far away but you don't really get anything else after that towish with the map 10 is going to be doing so much dirty work mopping up the saints as they try to find their way over but now ap going to be rotating alongside jbh to get over to where he thinks that they're going to be next but might have made that wrong call as they're going to be taking over b site instead Smokes are going to be coming out to make it even more impossible. For $300 to guarantee that the Saints are going to be able to do a damn thing about your push, I say it's worth it. And with uh, just two pistols, the Saints aren't going to be able to do too much as they're already going to spray down the smoke. This fire is going to find AP. JBH is doing a good amount of damage onto one member of North Carolina State, but you're going to need a lot more to win the round, and you're not going to be able to find that as your flash. You can't see a damn thing, in fact, especially with that smoke. But now that it's gone, he can see a little bit clearer, but he's not going to see too much when a bullet goes right into your head and destroys your awesome bit low. And it's going to be another round for North Carolina State taking this 2-0 over St. Clair College now after that. Uh, forced to lost around again. You don't have a lot of money to work with. You can't really do too yeah. much. And buying guns is kind of pointless. They are going to have some money to work with here, and it does make sense to kind of go for something. Um, but again, with their spending here, losing this one would be devastating as they have no money. Some of them literally zero dollars left in the bank account. Yeah, no, they would have nothing left if they lost this one. Uh, so they really need to play it smart, get the right angles down, and get some people absolutely dusted because if you don't you're gonna be not only poor oh hold on here that flash just completely screwed him over does he know i don't think he does he does not mace is gonna be able to take down miggy now jbh over on b site it's gonna be a little bit scary here the saints kind of committing a lot but North Carolina State doesn't have this round just yet. It's a 3v4, and they're rotating over to B-Site, but JBH is here and ready. He has the M4, so he actually can get something done here. The Saints are coming to back him up. He's gonna be able to find that kill onto the point. JBH takes down Maze, but the smoke coming up kind of puts to segment them off, but there is a Saint in heaven able to come down from the high ground, but Petro finding the kill with M4A4. It's a little bit uh, less accurate than the M4A silence, but he's making it look like it's a sniper rifle and with those last few cleanup kills they're going to be able to take this defuse and to get their first round on the board on this last map of the series all righty two and one on the side of the saints looking pretty darn good uh 
So, so wait, hold on. Is it the Saints or is it? Oh, I don't remember. Is it the Saints on the... Saints are on CT side right now. Saints are on CT side. All right, cool. So, yeah. Saints are looking pretty good. Um, they need to think of their economy, and they need to think of how they're playing it uh, micro-wise, right? How, like, where are they... What, which sides are they taking? Uh, whether they want to go for longer peaks, shorter peaks. Um, I feel like everybody this round, though, is just making a beeline for B. Something must be in the water lead. as they're all rushing it down. The Saints are even throwing nades over there at the start of the round. Not quite sure what kind of set that off there, but it's like a high, it's like a migration. Everybody just went for it and they knew what to do. But after that little bit of a primal rage dissipates a little bit, we are seeing some rotating over. You got one trying to go through park uh, on this T side, but there's a saint there waiting for him and the other through upper park as well to make sure that no really cheeky rotations. Trying to rotate through mid would be cheeky. Trying to rotate through upper park right now would be omega mega cheeky, cheeky levels that humanity is not meant to witness. Um, holding through lower parts still, spraying through that smoke just to make sure that they're not going to get this comfortably. It's going to be a battle for control over this side of the map. The first pickoff will be pretty huge so far. These nades are all going to be coming out, smoke's coming out, splashes, mollies as well, forcing the Saints to fall back a little bit off their hold, but coming up and over onto that patch side, going to be able to spray them down and ultimately find a kill. Uh, AP's going to go down, but from beyond the grave, that's just going to help him take down Mace. JB is ultimately going to go down to the AK headshot through the smoke cloud. And with that, it's going to be a 3d4 for the Saints to try to get this retake as the push already on the point. Petro in the little, in the water there. Try to see if he can go up that ramp, but it's really scary. As you know, there's so many people surrounding you. Uh, one going to get brave and go on the high ground and go immediately for the fake for the DTs, but two on the side and the fake wasn't Ooh. even good enough as the others were watching that angle with the Saints on the contract flanking, drawing their eyes to the bomb, but the other two were still watching where they were and were able to put them down as they came around. Yeah, all right. That one, not the best for the Saints. Uh, losing that round, making it a one to three. Uh, definitely not the best, but here they're just they're gonna take the economy around. They're gonna say, "All right, guys, we don't have much money. Let's uh, let's save up. Let's do what we do normally, and see where that'll get us." Right? I mean, they're not gonna win the next round, even if they buy something, because they just don't have enough money to do so. So here, the economy around is just really smart Ooh. play. As, wow! Makes up a kill the deal. Speaking smart play, Miggy. Just showing how smart you can be with the deagle in your hand. And in fact, another Saint gonna find a kill with the USP. Such an accurate gun. So deadly at a range as well. Gonna be able to get that plan on the side. When, when the Saints have nothing to lose, they play so aggressively and I think it works out in their favor pretty well as they really just throw off the wind and meet North Carolina uh, where they're just expecting the AP trying to get some wall bangs. And in fact, they're actually gonna get decent damage. That's not nothing. That is not nothing uh, that can especially since the rest of your teammates just have pistols that amount of damage can change the round but miggy finding another headshot but the nade the frag is gonna find andy ap is gonna get the defuse so your teammate with the ak you don't want him defusing but petro with his own gonna be able to deter and miggy getting another headshot with the deagle to stop that retake and the saints are gonna get the defuse and their oh. minds nobody had a kit I believe so ultimately that round is still gonna go North Carolina state side Saints are gonna be able to get at least the fact that they were able to get a kill on every member of North Carolina State so they are gonna lose a little bit of money but the fact that they won the round might kind of offset that I'm not sure how those exact dollars are gonna go but St. Clair College must be really feeling it after that one it's, it's just an unfortunate thing to happen there you know, uh, they fought so hard for that a pistol round. They won ultimately over North Carolina State, but just one or two seconds off getting that final defuse to take it. Now, just pause here. Saints, not a lot of money to work with. An off in the hand of Andy. You know that he must be feeling comfortable here. Probably going to station him in upper park or mid park. Um, but 
or even putting him in heaven to catch those B pushes that North Carolina State seems to be favoring so heavily. But with that in mind, you know, they might just try to switch things up and go for an A push here just to kind of switch things up. Either way, they have a lot of money to work with still after getting wiped out in that previous round. So they might just be feeling confident and comfortable going for anything. It seems that they are just going to be going for that hard B push, getting those smokes ready, lined up to get off those B angles to make sure that they can get something and get the foot onto the site before the Saints have an answer. Smoking off here, not sure if that was an intentional one or not, but Mickey is gonna find Mr. Meyer, Petro is gonna go to find uh, Mace. Mickey's gonna go down to Talish as he was trying to rotate through. And it's just Tristan gonna go up and find behind the barrels. Amon's gonna come up, but there's still a Saint there behind the barrels. JDH is gonna be behind two of them now. They think that spot's clear, so he just has to wait for it to dissipate. Finding that headshot, finding another one, JBH, the sleeper agent has been activated and it's gonna be a damn hard round to come back from North Carolina State, went from winning it to losing it in the blink of an eye. You didn't account for him there and he's gonna come back to bite you. He's gonna be now Tawish in water, looking to see if he can come up behind to find anybody who dares show their head. He doesn't wanna save here, it's not worth it. He does think it's worth it to try to win this round and I would have to agree here. Andy with the op. He's not going to be there looking at the right moment and he's not going to be looking there either. JBH and Andy looking at the worst possible moments, the worst possible spots. Going to lose the round ultimately again. Another round that the Saints really felt like they won there but it's going to slip away from them in the end. Yeah, unfortunate there. St. Clair College, I mean, they, just, they didn't peak them at the same time. If you do that, he can only focus one of you. But... Because they popped out one after the other, he was able to switch targets and get both of them. Which is yeah, the problem is there that they didn't peek him. He peeked them. Well, yeah, they weren't, they weren't looking at where he was because he could have been approaching from about five different spots. So Saints just unfortunate timing of where they were looking. So they are going to ultimately lose the round to that and they are probably going to go for an eco round. Yeah, just mostly deagles on their side here. Uh, North Carolina State is just walking away with this game so comfortably so far. The Saints have had these moments of brilliance. These flashes of glory. Ultimately getting some yeah, Petro gonna be able to find a shot through the wall there. Uh, big, oh, Biggie's so close to surviving that exchange, but ultimately gonna get put down. Andy with a 5 7, waiting for Mr. Myers to breach through that opening, because uh, he's probably not gonna be expecting to see him there. W King with the off on of the park. Trying to just pre-fire him a little bit. The train's gonna cause some noise. Maybe that's gonna allow some rotations to come through. That's not, we're gonna see that yet, but Mr. Myers is gonna be able to find Andy through Canal, and that's gonna be the opening that they need to push their way over to B site. They're gonna leave the bomb behind, sending one guy to pick it up now, because they recognize that this is a pretty comfortable spot. The Saints aren't gonna be able to stop the momentum that they're bringing over onto B site, but in fact, they do still have 30 seconds. If they really wanted to commit to a rotation, they honestly could, but I think they are pretty dead set on going for B. That smoke is going to cement it. Flash is now all coming out. Smoke's bouncing in. And the Saints recognize it's game time now. It's now or never. Gotta lose your cold feet. AP is going to go down to the beautiful place. Now that shot from the AK. Petro is going to get off the down. And JBH is going to get put down as well to give North Carolina their sixth round in this series. Yeah, if you're the Saints, uh, it's not looking good. Six oh. to one and switching sides soon. You are not in a good situation here. The economy is in the gutter. Uh, North Carolina just, they have so much money. Even if you win around against them, they can still almost full buy right after that. So it's, it's definitely not a- Oh my God, Andy, with probably the most immaculate, succulent, delicious ob headshot flick. It was even through a damn wall. Hopefully it's not gonna amount to nothing because that was incredible. What but did I just witness? I don't even know. He knows. That was pure instinct. My eyes have been blessed. In those moments, you just react purely based off of your mechanical mind.
muscle memory. Now the states are looking 5v4. They have sight of the bomb. They just have to hold it down for another minute. And it's North Carolina State. They're going to be pretty comfortable throwing their lives at it. But as he takes around that corner, going to take a hell of a lot of damage. Throwing the nade out. He wasn't expecting Tetra to come around that second corner there. Tawish now. We're going to be focusing on. He is going to be in connector. Seeing if anybody dares to step down that water path. But... Mr. Myers is going to be there alongside one other member of North Carolina State. They want to see if they can get opening at the B side, but it's not going to matter too much since they don't even have the bomb yet. Tawish not going to be coming around the corner, but with oh, the knife no. out, not going to be having any way of defending himself against Mickey, which is going to be able to take him down. Just one member of North Carolina State left, fully armored, but he even almost getting hit by that free fire through that wall. He's just running for his life now. Really, there's no point in saving, but you might as well because you know you're not going to be able to win this one. Coming out of the corner, Petra is going to get that headshot. Even though he probably wasn't looking for anything there, they're still going to find him and put him down. The, another op is on that floor, but they don't even want to go for it. And he's already got his, and the rest of them want to hold on to the right hole. So as we're going now, Saints finally winning their first round after four in a row being taken from them. They are looking to bring some life back in this game. Five in a row, actually. No, four. I can't count. Anyways, it's still, we're about to approach the 10th round, and which means we're almost at the halfway point, which we get to 15. So they still have to keep the money in mind, but it's not going to be the ultimate decider still. It is going to come down to just winning your rounds and getting those frags because you're almost about to the halfway point. The economy is going to fully reset. AP is going to go down. Not a lot to get it done in that situation. The fire and the flames and the flashes making it impossible for him to defend himself. JBH in water alongside one more. See if he's going to get that kill. He's a shark in this water. He's the king of this ocean. But Nate is going to be the apex predator at the end of the day. is going to put him down. Tawish with the, uh, the Tech 9, he's just holding down water. Nace throwing out the nades, making sure that nobody's sitting on people in heaven. But the Molly's gonna come down, making sure that water is gonna be a little too hot for comfort. But still gonna be to North Carolina State holding control over this one with the AK finding two. Whoa, the spray pattern. Don't even have to control it, let it do whatever it wants. It's gonna find the head at some point when you're that lined up. Saints. Still have some money to work with here. Some buys coming out, giving some guns away. It's a free giveaway here. Spending all those dollars that they can. Because even if they lose this round, they're going to have a second one to recover off of. So they're banking on either winning this one and keeping the momentum going forward or losing it and then recovering in the round after the next. Since that's going to be the round that really matters to determine whether or not they can take the last two of this half. But North Carolina State doing a split push now. Pushing up to mid and B side. Water is going to be where they're going to be. Yeah, they're going to get that cemented. No one's going to be there to contest them. And he's finding JBH as he tries to get his feet onto that point. Oh, 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 oh. Calm down. Calm. Petro, hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. I said calm down, my friend. He's going to find Mace as he goes around the corner with MP9. He's going to pick up the AK instead. Smart guy there. Recognizing he's got better and Bigger and better things sitting right in front of 3v4 now. Sorry, yeah, 3v4. Bomb is going to get picked up. They're going to be rotating to A. Gabriel, I think you can see that the Saints are slowly yep. finding the momentum that they need to stay in this round. Yeah, I mean, finally the momentum is coming through. They win around, they lost one, but now. They really, I mean, once they won that round, they, they got the traction. Now they, they, they remembered that they were supposed to win the game mm -hmm. instead of losing it. And now they're, they're saying, okay, so winning the game is the objective. And now they're winning the game. Oh, or working their way to winning the game. I mean, they're, they're doing really good right now. Yeah, they, they, they kind of rested control of this round. They are down in advantage, but the delay that they've put on the push from North Carolina State is significant. They forced them to kind of rotate over to A. B was not in the cards for them, but I don't think they recognize that just yet. Through Lower Park, in that terminal there, Miggy's going to find Tristan and C, and he's going to find Mr. Myers as he's crosshair in place, but wasn't where it needed to be in that moment. That's going to be the alarm sounded for the Saints to make that rotation over to a site gonna get that plant before time runs out in that round but Miggy is gonna go down now AP but Petro is gonna find that kill but he's gonna go down to W King with the AK just holding down bank he's gonna take that round Saints just again they keep coming so so close to taking these rounds but 
it, when it comes down to those last moments, it slips away from them. So, like mentioned before, they're just banking on this next round after this one to be the one that they can commit all their money into. But one of them is actually going to opt to buy a rifle. Uh, might be the one holding uh, more of a longer angle where you can't really afford to go for something cheaper. Andy going up pin mid with the Deagle. In fact, almost finding the opera there. A scary sight to see. The watch is come out of course in the back, but through that wall, they're going to find AP just the B pushes, oh, lordy lord, JBH finding Mace's head. But as I got kind of interrupted there by the immaculate shots being put out by JBH, uh, the, the pushes from North Carolina State onto B have just been so well coordinated and so well executed, even finding these wall bank kills without even a, a piece of information being levied by the Saints. They are gonna be just an overwhelming force to be reckoned with, but now Petro, holding canal with JBH, seeing if they push up through water or if they're gonna push up through canal. If they swing this, it could be really bad for Petro as he's crosser is right where his head would need to be if he's gonna find anything there. But Petro oh. coming around that corner with that peak like he knew he was there, gonna buy Tristan's head because the information, the lack of information as well, they knew most likely where they were. JBH is gonna go down to Tawish, but Mr. Myers is gonna be coming around this corner to try to find Petro, but he's gonna get found out by Tawish instead with that op shot. And he's gonna be coming up around the water here seeing on this construction site trying to push up but the beautiful shot the op loses to the deagle this deagle is an op in the hands of andy but no mr myers knows exactly where he is but can he find the kill and he's not going to be able to find the head in time again every single one of these rounds it feels like the saints are winning them but just one last play is what takes it for North Carolina State. They're going to have all the money that they need to work with in this round. Everybody's going to be investing everything into this one. North Carolina State, nobody's going to go for the off here because I think they're going to want to play this one fast and dirty. But Andy taking it off for himself. Going to see if he can deter their push. I think they recognize that B is their strong suit. So they might be committing to just hold down B. But since B has been their strong suit, they're going to make this last push go over to A site. In fact, they're actually going to slow this one. Leave the bomb and see if they can find any information on the Saints and if any pickoffs. They recognize that the Saints are going to have the money this round. They're going to have weapons that could actually put a bit of a deterrent on their push. So uh, they don't want to do anything too rash because this. If they win this one, it would mean that they're 10 and 2 over the Saints, and that's a lot scarier than 3 to 9. So they want to make sure they think they win this one comfortably. But Andy is going to find a kill on his beloved op to get this round started, and North Carolina State is going to be scrambling to find an answer. Yeah, I mean, Andy's op is terrifying. Last week it was terrifying. This week it's even more scary. Like, every time you see him, his op shots get better. It's. It's scary it's like to see what he's going to be in, like, I don't know, a year. Like, one year from now, just how terrifying is he going to be? A lot of years have led up to building him to be the player he's at right now. So, I'm sure with even more time, he'll develop into an even stronger one. Mace, rightfully scared to try to push up through the terminal. But, eventually, someone's going to have to give. And it's going to be Mace, most likely, the sacrificial lamb. The one to push through. Or maybe it's going to be Tristan. Either way... Someone's gonna have to push eventually, and the smoke gonna be coming out, forcing him to go through the lower part instead. And that's gonna be the opening they're looking for. Andy, not gonna be able to find that kill, but Mickey is fighting that next one though. Andy's gonna get that op shot to take it down. Mr. Myers is gonna be able to find Petro. JBH coming around that corner is gonna go down, in fact. I thought that was his for sure. Woo. 10 seconds left. The bomb is in the hands of the Saints. This round is gonna go their way. North Carolina State though, like I mentioned, they're nine and three over the Saints as we head into this next half it's far from oh, it's far from easy for the saints but it's still not impossible for them to come out with the win this one. i mean okay so i think i found the rules of the game if andy has an op saints win if andy doesn't have an op it, it's a lot harder for the saints unfortunately not the case especially since uh, <laughs> i recognized in that first map on vertigo he he missed quite a many we don't talk shots. about those we don't talk about those <laughs> but if we're gonna be if we're gonna be in we're gonna have integrity here we're gonna point out the mistakes of our players you know and uh even when they are as gloriously 
unfortunate and brutal to witness, I will still mention when you kind of dropped the ball. And the ball was dropped quite a couple of times, but seems that as this round or this game picks up, it seems he wants to make up for those past sins and kind of win this one out for his team. Flash coming up to Tawish, turning his head too late. Jamie is going to get the entry frag, but entry frag himself in retaliation. Tristan with 8 HP left, going to be in a really bad spot as the Saints recognize where he is. Flash coming on the corner, going to get the headshot, but a Petro on that fence. Mr. Myers going to put him down, holding the bomb a little bit too far away. You're going to finally inch his way back on the point as AP is going to go down. Not going to be able to find that plant, unfortunately, yet. But Miggy is going to be able to get that retaliatory kill. Mr. Meyer inching his way through water and pavement. Going to eventually go down. Now the Saints 9-4 and four in this game. Slowly, maybe finding their way back, finding their footing. It could be if they are able to win this round, they can at least demonstrate that they do have the ability to win the round that they should. Those previous ones, you can say whatever you will, but this one is all yours, and you should be able to win this one. I really hope the Saints are able to pull this one off, because if they lose this one, what hope do they have to win the rest? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Sigler has won almost every pistol round they've been in. I think they might have, yeah. They're strong on the pistol round. Yeah, they've demonstrated they're pretty good with them so far, but it's not going to matter for much if you lose every round after that. True. The Saints are going to have to kind of figure out where they're going to want to push here. Unfortunately for North Carolina State, they're all going to be watching over on B, but the Saints are going to be favoring A side. The upper park is going to be where they're leaving their mark, and they know they kind of picking up on the fact that it's all empty. Powish is going to spot them out, and that's going to be the rotation stack coming up for North Carolina State. The pistol squad on the move over to A side, but it is the pistol squad after all. It's not necessarily the Ghostbuster is not the one that you're going to want to call when things are in a desperate situation. Tawish going to be kind of smoked out there, forced to wait out that fire, but Andy is going to find Mace. Mr. Meyer's not going to find his head in retaliation, but the Saints are still holding this one down. Petro finding Tawish. W. King in. That's, oh, Andy going to take down Tristan too, finding them, but Mickey going to be rotating through. Just one member of North Carolina State. And in fact, he's behind two Saints. If he can find a kill here, it would be a pretty big deal for them. But no, they find it, but not going to find that kill. Miggy, in fact, shot a teammate in distress there. But going to be able to at least light him up a bit. But they're going to have to clear up before that bomb goes off. But he's not going to survive it. Going to go down. W King kind of picking up two there as a result of the distraction, taking down one extra Saint. But the Saints are now 9-5 to five here. A regular day's of work, but they're going to have to put in in the work if they want to take this game to be even closer. I mean, Saints Saints are coming back. Saints are coming back. I I, I, I feel confident in saying that Saints definitely have a really big chance of winning this. Well, with this one, if they do win it, it will be a really strong boon for the momentum because, again, North Carolina State forced to spend every penny. The loss bonus is going their way, though, so these losses will start meaning less and less as the time goes on. It will just be a matter of Saints farming more get this series nice and tied up as we're already one to one for the series if we get tied up for this match it would be even scarier but Mace is going to put an end to Andy Green of Terror pushing up through Park. Mr. Myers is going to be watching both construction and canal from this walkway but he's going to try to get the boost and I don't think they're going to be expecting it. Dot's not going to see it but now they know where they are. The element of the surprise from the boost is going to be eradicated but the Molly's going to force them out now. Force them into and the Saints are going to have a field day on the point. They're going to be able to get the plant. Alright, well, with the plant down, the game turns around. The attackers are now the defenders, and the defenders are now the attackers. And some of the defenders are Mush on the team, and the concrete is Petro is turning him into Swiss cheese. Tawish coming down from Connector is going to find the back of Petro. Tristan and uh, Tawish are going to be the last two against Saints as well. The 2v2 wingman retake. JBH finding his head with only 10 HP remaining. We're looking now 9 wow. to 6, and things are looking a little bit dicey now for North Carolina State with just a three round gap before like I told you it's a big difference to be 10 to 2 versus 9 to 3 and I think that difference is kind of making its way to be uh, mainstream is making its presence known as the Saints are slowly making that gap even narrow narrower and narrower now 
looking to like that. And I, what I really appreciate about their offense here is the Saints are mixing it up every time. They're not sticking to a single point like North Carolina State did. But as a result of that, Petro is going to come up and do connect. They're fighting three heads. He's going to be able to pave a path to victory coming up nice and unscathed. But Mace is going to find the back of his head. And he's standing on top of Park. <laughs> and he is going to be able to find the rescue mode. But W King with the scout shot going to take down JBH. Can he find another? But the flash is going to come through. Going to disorient him a little bit. But ultimately, it's going to be Biggie with the AK swinging around the corner, putting him down. And that's going to be 9 to 7. The Saints are bringing every round to be uh, super critical here. North Carolina State's going to be able to afford, afford a full buy this round, but the Saints are still working with momentum going their way. They want to keep pushing. They want to keep fighting. They don't want to let this slip through their fingers. They came so close. They fought so hard. And in the end, they don't want it to not matter. They want it to still go their way. So they want to take this 9-8 to eight to at least make this feel achievable, make this feel within their grasp. And then it seems that they're going to go all in on the B push. They're already going to have feet on water trying to get up to construction. But it's not going to be yet. Biggie finding two, gonna be able to make that construction team a reality, but Mace is gonna find Petro finding the back of JBH. It's gonna be able to take him down before he can make it around that corner. It's gonna be a 2v3 now. The Saints are on the point. Mickey, can he find the head of Taos? Yes, he can. Watching Walkway, gonna even find his way into water. Gonna go for the Molly, but no, he's gonna get bound around as he gets pushed back. But Andy, gonna be able to hold his own. It's a 1v1, the bomb is planted. Mace is gonna be creeping through, getting his way onto Walkway. Well, Andy's on construction. Can you dig it? I'm not sure. He wishes he could dig a path through that wall, but he has to get brave. He has to get bold. And Andy, all he has to do is wait as he recognizes that he's going to have to play into his hand and he don't want to give up more rounds unnecessarily. He hears him going. He's waiting to hear that beep. He hears it going on the corner. Gets the molly. You don't even have a chance anymore. Even if he did get that kill, he would have had to wait for that molly to dissipate. What an excellent Excellent genius level play coming for Andy, but he's not going to survive as the bomb goes off in that last second. <laughs> the Saints are playing with their minds on and their monitors even honor as they're finding these critical kills where they matter the most as we're heading 9-8 to eight now. North Carolina State, not a penny in their pocket, being forced into an eco round. The Saints want to take this to be 9-9 nine and nine with the most immaculate comeback I've seen in my damn life. I'm hoping that they can pull this one off. I mean, they're riding the comeback wave right now. I did, uh, yeah, I am speechless. I thought I've this never was a seen a comeback match. like this before. You know, but they're playing CSGO Surf the way that they're surfing this wave of comebacks. But Petro is going to go down to the MP9. Mace is going to find JBH. MP9 is to get work. A, a bit of an overkill. He had maybe 10 HP left and an MP9 in his hands. But the op shot is going to be what's pushed him down. The 2v3, now 1v3. The Saints are getting pushed back on the back park. But... AP, last man standing for the Saints. Can you demonstrate that you still want it? Can you show how bad you want this victory? Using the util, they know he's here. Flashing around the corner, going around, finding the peak. No information is going to be given. They're all going to be holding down on the park. But AP coming around the fountain, he's holding it down. He's banking on the fact that one of them might try to come around the corner. He's seeing if they're all going to be behind them. You never know where they are. You want to bet that they're going to be holding down the bomb because you know where the bomb is. But you never want to play with that as a fact. Because around that corner is Tawish. He's going to find that kill. But on that slide, it's going to be a bad day for AP. Is it going to go down? And in fact, the loss bonus was such a boot for North Carolina State that even though they were losing all those rounds before and the Saints were winning all of them, they're in fact going to be poor after that one. Uh, and North Carolina State is going to be able to afford a full buy. So this next round also most likely going in the favor of North Carolina State because of that economic factor. But the Saints are still fighting here. MP10 and Galils, they're going to be spending, in fact, maybe a little bit too much for my comfort. They're confident, I guess, then. They want to make sure that they win this one. They don't want to give up any more rounds. Economy be damned. They're going to use the util, use their rifles, and try to find what they can, but AP is going to go down thanks to the boost. Yeah, wow. and that boost they're gonna be, is going to get on a whole streak of kills. I mean, holy oh, smokes. Lordy Lord. A very distinctive round for North Carolina State. Absolutely shutting down the Saints. And uh, that buy did not go their way. Saints 
are going to have to save up their money for another day because it's not looking pretty for them right now. They can literally only afford maybe a couple pistols and utils. If they really wanted, they could go for a Galil, but I think you really have to just bite the bullet on this round and just play the next round from your feet against or your back against the wall. They're going to have to play from 12 to 8 after this round unless they can pull off a miracle and win this one off of the your eco round. The tech nine from Andy's gonna have to do so much work if they're gonna make that a reality. But it's a mother duckling with the mother duck with the ducklings not far behind. The frag grenade is gonna come out. It might even find a kill and it does. Oh. Petro is gonna go down to it. Just chewed up so much by the previous fires. Maced and the rest of North Carolina State are getting a feel for where the scenes might be. JBH spotting out the rotation. The flash is going to come out a little bit too late. They know where they are now, and the Saints are just going to have to get muster up the courage to really just face them down. Might have been able to find a couple of guns there, but no. AP is going to go down. W King coming around behind. Big is going to find him, but JBH with the Tech 9 is going to put him down, taking an AK as a Oh no, but it's empty! <laughs> wow, from beyond the grave, you're gonna do even a little bit more damage there. He thought that gun had bullets in it, but it was emptied out before he had the opportunity to use it, and they're gonna chip him down. Now, like I mentioned, the Saints have set themselves up in this situation. They kind of got a little bit too risky in that previous round, spending all their money, and now they have to play this one perfect. It's 12 to eight. They can't afford a single Mistake. Does Andy have an op? Can't afford one, my friend. Oh no. Then it's gonna be quite difficult. The Saints back against the wall with all the fight left in them. They don't want to let it lose out. But North Carolina State has been such an impressive force this game. And it's been so interesting to watch these teams play around each other and figure each other out. But watching Upper Park back, North Carolina State recognizing the Saints might want to try playing things a little bit differently there. But it's going to get called out. The Saints are going to find their way over to B and try to push up. It's a matter of util. If they can get this site secured, then it could be as good as rain for them. Flash coming out, or I think that was smoke rather. Smoke's gonna come out in retaliation from North Carolina State, blocking out Canal. Well, only the bomb carrier on Canal, the rest of them are actually on construction. Now, that's gonna be uh, North Carolina State. They're gonna recognize the two of them over on a park and have to rotate over. AK is gonna be trying to get a wall bank, not gonna find it. If only he was able to, that would have been huge for the Saints. Almost finding it, but not quite. Tawish now jumping over, he recognizes and sees the Saints. He's gonna try wall banging them as they try to go up through connector, but they're gonna get through scot free. It's gonna be uh, now, it's a last ditch effort to push up to A through connector. The Saints are gonna be playing as carefully as they can. Upshot, W King almost finding the kill there, but the Saints are still unscathed. Oh man, they really can't decide where they want to go. They're going through connector again, and Mr. Meyer spots them. They know exactly where they are. Jumping up, they see them going through connector. And the Saints don't have a lot of time to make this happen. They're gonna flash through on connector through util, but they're gonna go push through pipe and on through canal. This is their last push, last moment, this last chance they have to win this game. They're getting on the site. They're getting the plant. Mickey holding down walkway, but no, the nades, the gunshots is all too much for the Saints to handle. They get the plant, but they can't hold it down. Andy gonna get mowed down, smoked down, pushed down, and that's gonna be a game for North Carolina State. They're gonna take the series over the Saints in a 13 to eight fashion. All these games have been at least in a margin of eight, but another solid game for North Carolina State, taking this to a very exciting conclusion for the night. Yeah, for sure. I mean, all three rounds were super close. Yeah. And then on the last round, Saints were just riding the comeback wave. And then I don't know what happened. They must have hit land, but that wave just disappeared. Yeah. And then they, <laughs> they lost. Yeah, but they definitely put so much hard energy and fight into those games it was an honor to watch that and it was an honor to commentate it i'm very glad that we got to watch counter strike it always brings a smile to my face when i see that on the docket because it's always a treasure to enjoy but of course you know 
I might be talking highly of Counter-Strike, but we of course had Call of Duty. That didn't really go our way either, losing 3-0 to Fisher College White uh, in that game, but still so many close calls in those games as well. Again, the score doesn't tell the whole story. Some of these games came down to nail biters, yeah. but they were still pleasures to watch no matter who came out on top. Omega Strikers, we were supposed to watch tonight. Unfortunately, there's a forfeit, so we did have one win technically there. But to wrap up the night, make sure you stay tuned because tomorrow we have Apex Legends and Valorant lined up for you guys all to enjoy. So before we say goodnight and say goodbye, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank Gabriel for joining me thank you very at the much desk for having me. once again. And I want to thank everybody in the back who made this possible. And I want to thank, of course, our sponsors are one and only as we have Tim Hortons, Subway, HyperX, the St. Clair College, SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. So thank you all for making this possible and thank you for being a lovely audience to bring the show to time and time again. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's about time we wrap up the night. We didn't go to midnight like we thought, but we still went pretty <laughs> well, late. It's going to be like 10 by now, I think. Maybe. maybe. I haven't seen the time because Neither I was just... I was too absorbed by that game. But I'm going to see the time after this because I'm going to be saying good night, goodbye, and have a good one. GG.